Oh, it's Friday, the new day for real talk. So join Daddy Rude and Lady Cleo on a Friday night, 9 to 12, for real talk. The show where we discuss all that's real and nothing ideal. Only on Styles FM. <laughs> good night, good night, good night, good night, everybody, and welcome to Real Talk, wherever you are right now. It could be your morning, could be your afternoon, could be your evening, it could be your night. <laughs> Most definitely. But of course, we know it is Friday here in the, of course, this side of the country of the world. Yeah? Yes. Right? It's Jamaica. Eh? Jamaica, to yeah. be exact. Yes, it is night and it's about 9 15 in the p.m so we want to welcome you one and all to the show tonight tonight with me is my co-host for tonight none other than prestige so prestige will be with me until 12 o'clock daddy rude ran out on me to take care of other very very pressing matters and we'll hear more about that when you hear from him next time around. But tonight, it's my pleasure to have with us Prestige in studio. Good night, Prestige. <laughs> All right. Listen to the audience clapping, <laughs> just like that. You I deserve wanna say good night. the applause. Yes. I want to say good night to all the listening audience. And we are here. Yeah, and we're going to have a good night. Mm -hmm. For real, because I'm in a good mood. Oh, yeah. nice. I worked today. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm here tonight. Great. So we're going to have a good night. Good night. Yeah. Of course, we want to say big ups to our social media peeps. You know, before we get things kick-started, we want to give shout-outs to our friends on the World Wide Web. All those who will get themselves ready and snuggled and all comfy for the show week after week after week. All right? So to our friends who do YouTube, you know that tonight's show will be posted afterwards on YouTube, right? And just in case you didn't know, all the other shows, yeah, are posted on YouTube. So you can check those out at Styles FM Radio. And let me just say, you also need to download the Styles FM Jamaica or Styles FM Radio application on your smartphones. Yeah, so you can have Styles with you all the way wherever you go. All righty. And for those who are on Instagram, you can follow us at Styles FM. Twitter fans at Styles FM 961. And for tonight's live feed on Facebook, check out Styles FM 96.1. Go to the fan page. All right. And of course, we want to give you those on the go number in the USA, Canada, and the UK. If it is that you're on the go and you wish to listen in, the USA number is 712 832 2772. In the UK, it's 033 And in Canada, it's 647 957 9637. And for those who wish to text us regular text message or whatsapp texting you can get us on send us a message or call us locally on 876-453-1444 that's 453-151444 and you put 876 before that and if you're overseas and wish to call us that number is 954-338-7973. That's 954-338-7973. All right, so you have all the numbers. And please, for those who have never called in before or never texted us before, please, tonight is your night to make a difference, yeah? I dare you tonight to make that call or to send that text message to our phone lines or to the WhatsApp connection. All right? Yeah, man. I know I'll be hearing from some, from some um, listeners who don't normally text or call in. Let me say shout-outs tonight to Garfield. Right here in Boundbrook, he always listens to Styles FM. 
avid, avid listener. So, big up yourself, Gary, always locked in, yeah? And I want to say big shout-outs to Claudette, too, in Anchovy. I tell you, when I say locked in, whenever I'm passing by her house, I literally, seriously, always hear her playing Styles FM. She says her radio doesn't come off style. So, big ups to you, Claudette, in Anchovy on the settlement there. Big ups, big ups to you. And, of course, my dear little friend, Chichi, always pleasant, always giving me a nice big greeting in the mornings, in the evening, in the night. Big up yourself, Chichi. All right, and keep it locked to Styles FM every single time. To Miss Richie and the girls, the twins, big up yourselves as well. And I also want to give a shout out to all our friends who are all across the waters. Yeah, man, all of you from Florida, from all oh, the Jamaican AC Clubites crew, we want to big you up tonight. Long time we don't hear from one what's going on. Yes, Gary, Denise, Fitzroy, big ups, big ups, big ups. We know they're listening, right? So we want to shout out to you guys. Of course, the Dan Dan and to all the crew who keep it locked. Um, what's her name? Lord of his mercy. How could I forget? Charmy, Charmy. Right, Charmy, Charmy. And all our other listeners, we know you're going to be texting in as we go throughout the show, so we want to load you up. No, Prestige, you know that we had our wellness fair. Yes. Today, yeah. Styles FM wellness fair, um, health fair, and blood drive. And I didn't get to go to the entire event, but I made sure I dropped in in the afternoon, mid-afternoon. Likewise. Yes. And it was really, really good. The persons came out, the, the different um, sponsors came out and supported the thing. Um, I am glad to see the number of persons or booths yes. that there were. And, you know, when I was going to work this morning, I saw some ladies inside Texaco. Mm -hmm. And they, I saw the word styles. That's the first yeah. thing I picked up. Yeah. Because, you know, when you're, when you're in tune mm -hmm. with styles, you pick yeah. up on thir certain things. So I, I saw the shirts mm -hmm. mark styles. Yeah. And then I said, hi, because I figured somebody in a style shirt must be a styleser. Mm -hmm. Right? So I said, hi. And then I read, hype fans of, of styles. One of them picked up the face. Yes. So Lady Cleo said, so yeah. yeah. And then I discovered that Andy and mm. the crew from yeah. St. Thomas, um, Shelly and Bunny and everybody else. I, don't get, I didn't get all the names, but you know yourselves, mm. all right? You came all the way from St. Thomas, all across St. Thomas. And they were at the fair from like after six this morning. What? Yes. Because when I saw them, they were getting some coffee and stuff mm. in the early morning. So early? Yes. So, kudos, 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 thumbs up. Give me the applause again, Prestige. Yeah, so, applause, standing ovation for all the hype fans of Styles who came out clad in their shirts representing for Styles today and, of course, representing at the Health Fair. So, big up to our St. Thomas crew, and we trust that next year, all being well, we will see the St. Mary peeps rolling in. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man, even St. Anne people rolling in and people from all across just to come on over and to be a part of a very, very good venture. I think the Health Fair is an excellent idea. Yes. Blood drive, you know, we need to give blood because there may come a time when we, we ourselves need blood. Yeah. And it's always good if you can give. I think, you know, I, th give. I, think, I think we should move it to, I take it to another parish. You could look at that too. Next yep. year. What do yep. you think? Yep, yeah. good idea. Good yeah. idea. And the giveaways, the persons, the persons who were on location had some sort of nice giveaways for the patrons and the, for mm. the persons who came out really, really nice. Mm. And I trust that we'll continue mm. to get more sponsorship the, from the, the, corporate the, Portland. Yeah, the, the giveaway came from? Um, we had the um, health department, the mm -hmm. Ministry of Health, uh, yeah. the fire services, that's the Jamaica Fire Brigade. Yes. Um, Chris and Charles yeah. Investments, they had giveaways too. Yeah. Ooh, who else had giveaways? And the credit union, the Portland oh, the, Cooperative Credit they Union. They gave away money? No, they didn't give away any oh, money. Oh, guys, I <laughs> they left. had tokens that yeah, they, I left early, so. they gave away. So Are they gave away was, a car? 
No, tokens. Okay, tokens. Oh. <laughs> You're That's wishful. Early. Okay, okay. Yeah. Well, I kind of hope that in the future they'll be able to give away yeah. a car. A car. Yeah. house. We yeah. want a car. I bet you say house. A house, okay. Yeah. You get me, me have, if it's a four bedroom house, I have two rooms and you have okay. two rooms. Okay, and you cool. live on one side, I live on the other side. Okay, sir. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, I'm okay. a look out for you. So you look out for me too. Oh, what do you think my. about that? Okay, okay, okay. That sound good? All right, sir. Because your family is not big. And I'm, 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 and and it's just only me alone and you and your daughter. That's okay. it. Okay. All right. Yeah. And and can I tell you one of my favorite yeah. persons? Well, two of my favorite persons in the world right now are tuned in. I think it's the first time for Kada McCullough. Mm -hmm. She's tuned in to to the real talk, and Nyla, of course, and of course Kada. Is a port is from Portland, but she lives in St. Andrew, I believe, oh. or Kingston, St. Andrew, mm -hmm. yes. And she is the public relations chair for the Jamaica Teachers Association. Okay. Right. So she's the one that directs all the public relations officers for the island. Oh. Right. So and she is an excellent public relations chairperson. Uh, public relations extraordinaire. So big ups to you, Kada Makala. And um, she's locked in. Nyla also visited some time ago too. So Nyla is always locked in. She's from St. Andrew and she's locked in. And to all my colleagues who are home and abroad, wherever you are, you're locked into Stars FM. Kudos, kudos, kudos to you. And thanks for tuning in. Thanks for the support. Yeah, man, big ups. And we see Nikki on the text line, the WhatsApp line. We see Lisa from Atlanta, Georgia, my place. And of course, we see MAD, Mad Family, <laughs> Bonnie Gate. Where's Bonnie Gate? St. Mary? Down there in St. Mary. St. Mary, okay. big ups to you. Yeah. My phone stuck on styles, man, like that. Yeah, man, yes. Good night to you too, Sister Niles. And Sadie, that is my godmother. I claim her from a long time when we had that show. Yeah. Yes, yeah, about godparents. Yeah, man. Yeah. She's, she, she took me into yeah. and welcomed me as her goddaughter. From York Castle? Yes, man. From Saint York Anne? Castle, St. Anne. I need okay. to find her one of these days and, yeah. hey, man, bring her some nice um, Portland fruits and something, something. And she gave me some nice St. Anne flowers because yeah. they're the garden, par <laughs> garden parish. Because to you, Sadie, Miss Sadie, Auntie Sadie. Yes. So. Of course, did I leave out our engineer for the night? My, 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 my dear Cassidy is our engineer who will be taking us through tonight. So, Prestige, somebody just said that they like your clean shave. Nikki, Nikki Wan says, Prestige, I love the clean shave day. Have you looking like 16? Ooh, oh, big yeah, things are Nikki. going for your eh? Prestige. Yeah, I saw Nikki sure. today. At the um, health fair. Health fair today. Yeah, All I right. Nikki. <laughs> yeah. 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 And of course, um, <laughs> Lisa said, I'm also sharing a house with you, so I don't know that going go. We, we'll talk about that one later on, Lisa. I'm going to take some more advice from you. Well, Prestige kind of yeah. cool still, you know. If, but I if, wouldn't want to share any house with Daddy Road. Yeah. For sure. Yeah, but when if, Maybe you will, but not Daddy Road. But when if Lisa wants to squeeze herself for you. you <laughs> <get> <laughs> That's me, the one next <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it, it is that easy. Oh. Yeah. Uh, tell me, <laughs> yeah. how has your week been, though? Oh, well. Mm, wonderful. Wonderful. Wonderful, yeah. Hmm. Had a um, nice day today at work. Oh, cool. Yeah. And um, hmm. it was okay. It was okay. My yeah. week has been tumultuous. Hmm. <laughs> Topsy turvy, upside down. Hmm. Uh, you know, you're dealing with kids, so sometimes, hmm. oh, your chest plate bunny and all these things, and you just talk, 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 hmm. talk, your throat that hurt you. It, it comes with the territory. But all in all, I'm blessed and highly favored. So. I'm giving thanks for life and, and I can say, for help. And I can say, you know, hmm. who are looking right now, <laughs> right? They can <laughs> see. No, man. They can see. They can see you they, and me. Yes. And you are looking so, can I use the word sexy? I guess so. Yeah. Born that way. Yeah. Oh, my <laughs> well, God. Well, thank you, thank you, thank you. You know what? Yeah. That would have hated yeah. 
my yeah. my compliments right now. Yeah. Too bad for him he's not mm. here. Mm. All right. So him good right now. Man. Him good in there. Him good in there. Yeah. I know he is. He must when be I'm, excellent. When I'm here, I run the show. Okay. Okay. Yes. Well, peeps, <laughs> it's now 9.30 and we go to our first break on Styles FM. Of course, um, Real Talk is sponsored by Native Audio Stage and Lighting. And the time is brought to us by VJ Printing Services. Yeah. Real Talk will be back after the break. This is Styles FM. Architects, draftsmen, and surveyors, get your drawings printed in high-quality professional standards. We can satisfy your printing needs. Whether it is for presentation to your clients or for submitting building and subdivision application, make it VJ Printing Services. Whether drawing by hand or with computer-aided softwares, we will plot your negatives and print the copies as you need. We do high-quality white paper printing that is water-resistant and never fades, unlike traditional blueprint. For more information, call VJ Printing at 893-2266 Ho 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 Styles FM Jingle Bells This must Advertising package Get more for less When you advertise Your business With Styles FM This Christmas Get 10 to 30% More on your Ad packages Starting October Contact our Sales team For details At 518-2399-374-8668 Or 320-7670 Conditions apply <laughs> Planning a party, club night out, stage show, a gospel concert, or even a business sales event? Let Styles FM be a part of your promoting tool. Take advantage of our low-priced promotion packages with commercials, interviews, giveaways, reviews, and much more. We have special offers when you mix and match and bundle your options. Contact us at 876-286-9216 or 439-5160. Styles FM, for the most effective way to exploit your marketing dollar. Guess what? Styles FM has a new business number for you to call, text, and now WhatsApp. 518-2399. To advertise your business and events, call, text, or WhatsApp us on 518-2399. 518-2399. Don't forget, 518 518- Two three nine nine. Native Audio Stage and Lighting now offering stage, lighting and trust systems for your small and medium sized events, whether it's a stage show, concert, drama play wedding, street party or club setting you name it, we'll bring it to life call us at 871-5212 or 844-6531 Native Audio Stage and Lighting, a sponsor of In the Know of the Law with Sergeant Del Rose Green and also Real Talk with Lady Cleo and Daddy Rude Welcome back, guys, to the show. Yes, the show where we discuss everything real and nothing ideal. And, of course, you're listening to Real Talk with yours truly, Lady Cleo. And filling in for Daddy Root tonight is DJ Prestige, Mr. Smoozik. You hear him on a, on a Tuesday night, yep. 9 to 12, 12. right? Mm. And Monday morning. Monday mornings. With Sancha. Mm -hmm. 9 o'clock. All to right. one o'clock and Friday morning, like this morning. Okay. Nine cool. o'clock to one o'clock. Because I don't get to listen in the days so much, you know. You I, I miss up some of the some of the, <laughs> the yeah. programs. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So we see some text line messages coming in. Nikki says, "Him come shell down a plate, a sister p food and cut prestige. <laughs> prestige don't call your name and go away. Oh my goodness." Prestige and Lady Cleo, big ups from Rambo in Cheswick. Big ups to Rambo. I haven't seen him in a long, long time. Are we are going Who are you, bro? Hope you're good. Mm. Shelly in Lethal St. Thomas says, you must, we must come to St. Thomas next year for the Health Fair. Mm -hmm. Now we have uh, a Vox Pop, mm -hmm. right, for tonight. A rather, rather interesting one. Um, it's not the whole mix up with the man and woman story tonight. <laughs> like some people would say, oh, they talk about sex too, you know. Yeah, 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 we do that too. But you know what? It's real talk. So once it's real, yeah, we are going to dissect it and we are going to look into it and we're going to take your views on it. All right, let's take a quick call from the 453. Hello, caller. Good night and welcome to the show. Good night, Sanjan Prestige. 
It's Cleo and Prestige. Oh, it's Cleo. <laughs> yeah. Yes, yeah, good she, night. How she, are you? She used to Prestige and said you. I didn't get that. Go ahead. I said, ask Prestige. Long time I don't hear from him. Want to him. Oh, he's here, man. He's here live and in living colors. So all you say well, is... Oh, 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 are you saying, Sandra? If you're not yes. hearing from me. Prestige. Eh? That's simple me. You must listen to me and Sandra on Monday morning. Yes, well, yeah. I you're this long time because my phone was not working. Oh, <laughs> I got you. So you what's on the plate tonight? You perceive? What is on the plate tonight? I said if you know who's talking to you. She's asking if you know who's talking to you. No. I don't think he does. A winsome prestige. Winsome. Oh, well, we are going out with yes. winsome. <laughs> Nothing. Fano, I sent Mary. Yes. And not to be. Not to be. Oh, yeah. Oh, we are going with, with the sexy body. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And she's blushing now. <laughs> yeah. A long time in a year for you, man. You dash me away. Like you. <laughs> eh? you dash me away. No, you throw me away first. It's like you find somebody else. Yeah, oh, man. Lord. Me find other people, man. We can't <laughs> not give me the talk, come on. Can yeah. we attack past style? If him no run, everybody yeah. here for a conversation. Alright, let me come off my phone. You're not coming off my phone. They attack. I'm here now, no secret. Oh you're going to be a secret. Load up the thing, we don't have it. Load up. Okay, load up. Tell you what you do. Tell you what you do. Go and listen to the show you hear and call us I back later on, alright? I'm not there, though. Yeah. Okay, mama. We have to go with some for man. Make people hear with business, <laughs> man. Pour with some on the spot. Pour with some feel the pressure and the heat coming on already. <laughs> with with so some care, man, she's running. What's she going to take you on? <laughs> what you come take your hand for? Oh, All boy. right. So we're going to look at our Vox Pop for tonight, ladies and gentlemen. And of course, here goes. Evidence of the generation gap. What are some of the things you did? Thank you. What are some of the things you did as a child that you would or wouldn't allow your child to do? Explain why. Part two, which generation do you think raised kids the best? Is it your grandma days, your mommy's days, or you as a parent now or as a guardian? So either of the three, yeah, generations, who raised kids the best? And part three to our Vox Pop is, what are some of the things your parents are and or your grandparents did or believed in that you have adopted. So it's a three-part question, and we look at them in segments, all right? So we look at part one once more. What are some of the things that you did as a child that you would or wouldn't allow your child to do? Boy, I, I think I, there I, are more things that I you know, you did know. that I probably would allow. Yeah, but you know, Cleo, <laughs> as opposed to with it. Listen up. You see, tonight, would I like the listening audience out there to participate tonight. Yes. One night, just participate tonight. And of course, because I dared them it's, earlier. It, 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 it's a three segment, right? Yes. Right? Yep. Yeah. Thing. So, participate. Yeah, man. And all of yeah. those who have kids, too, yeah. you know, yeah. and were raised by either their parents or grandparents yeah. have a story to tell, I'm mm. sure. And those who have their kids now have a story to tell when they look at the comparison, make the comparison and look at that generation gap, which is to me, oh, mm. so such great worlds apart in terms of the um, results that we're seeing with the kids today yes. as opposed to the kids then, yeah. how the kids then were, how they thought, how they acted, mm. as opposed to the ones now, how they are born. Mm. Fearless, fierce, dry eye, all of that, you know. So there is this huge generation gap for real. Yes. And we really want to dissect tonight, hear your views, and you share, and see how it is that we can educate as well as entertain persons who are out there listening all right so feel free to call us as we go through the discussion tonight uh, remember the local line is four eight seven six four five three one triple four and the overseas line is nine five four three three eight seven nine seven three all right so 
some of the things that I did as a child that I would or I wouldn't allow my child to do. Boy, I can't tell you that there were things that I did that I would allow, didn't do that I would, wouldn't allow my child to do. Because I grew up kind of strict, you know. So it's like I didn't even find time to mess up. I didn't get much time to mess up, you know. Because mm. I was always kept in line. Mommy was like, she wasn't like a drill sergeant or anything. Grouping. I grew up, and your no, with mommy and mommy at points mommy and, daddy. and daddy. Yeah? Yeah, man. Oh. Daddy in this strict bad, bad too. Mm. Strict bad, 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 bad man. Right? Mm. And mommy too had her side that she was a little bit more flexible, you know, but not really, really, no, holy, 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 flexible where you get time to rude. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. If you, you had to just stay in line, you really had to stay in line. We have a caller on 453. Good night, caller. Blessed night, my people. Blessed night. How are you, sir? Not too bad, you know. All right. This sounds like, is it the boy? Yes, it is. All right. I know the voice. So tell us, the boy, what are some of the things that you did when you did a one picnic that you would not or you would allow your child to do now? You know, there's enough people still to send me a picnic. <laughs> <laughs> I can't get a bottle of water over there and we just roll it out. We just roll it, you know? Yes. I boy, you can't grow up. Oh, Lord. The thing is, there are some things that a lot of people with in, their, in their childhood days yes. that, they, that they, they would want to feel like they would be ashamed of their child doing now. Like what? Using a pit toilet. Using a, a pit latrine? Yes. Um, water on the head. Carrying water on the head. You know, maybe maybe I feel, feel for God and they hungry some of the time or maybe, you know. But, 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 but would you, the, the thing now though, you'll find that there, even though there might be cases now where that kind of facility still exists, I don't, I think the average person is going to try to see how well they can elevate and improve on the standard of living so as not to continue using that method or that means yes that's why that's why i said some people would be ashamed of their child having that kind of experience oh, okay okay yes. so they wouldn't yes. want their child to ac actually no. experience they that want, no no is it that they're fearful they might fall in the pit or is yes. it that they no, don't shame. they think I'm of it as shame. somewhat demeaning i'm more ashamed i'm more ashamed i'm more ashamed shame more oh. ashamed. Yes, because for example i had a, I had a childhood friend growing up yes and um the, he, he went away and come back to jamaica uh -huh. you know and he, he didn't he didn't want to take his kids to where the house where he grew up really no he didn't want to Wow. So, so I asked him, you know, can the kids them going, no, no, nobody, nobody talk about that, nobody talk about that. Yes, as soon as they leave the yard with me and them, yes. I straight them in care of them go. <laughs> yes? And show them to you, this how daddy use that, you know? And, you know, and stuff, and they were like, oh my God, he really worked hard for us to, you know, I'm going to say, see, when, 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 when he came back, yes. they were talking to him about it, he then realized that they understood most of the sacrifice that he made. He made as a child um, growing up and even yeah. when he was an yeah. adult. Exactly. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. But you know, for me, most of the stuff for me do back in the day is mischievous. Because You were mischievous, the boy? Yeah. They used to give me sour oh. chow to go feed the pig. Yeah? And not for the time the pig must be sour chow because sour chow and and um milk powder and, and sugar nice. <laughs> <laughs> You <laughs> 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 used to get so right to look. See that, you know. Oh, yeah? my goodness. He, he, so, 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 even just reading the box part, you just bring back a whole heap of memories. You know? And, and as we go throughout, I want you to share them, please, because the younger per persons, the younger parents out there who might be wondering, huh? I don't, I don't know about that. What am I talking about? Can listen and learn. Because I think the experiences, though, that persons would have had, most, mm -hmm. if not all of them, it helps to get the children of today to understand to an extent yes. or to open their eyes and to see where, you know, their family um, history is coming from. Yeah. You know? Yeah. It's, it's good to, as an eye-opener for them, for most of them. For most of them. My grandparents, for example, were, were farmers. 
Yes. Yes. Yeah. And when you come on to this time of the year, be sure about my December money. Yeah. Because we start plant cereal early. Yes. I, I'm right now I'm immune to to um to, to um fertilize bite. It can't do me nothing. Nothing but appeal in the man them to them. Mm -hmm. Because the amount of time we used to have to bring the the, 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 the cereal from bush and, and Santa to lick your cross your head and lick your head, your head swell up on your feet. And you're nothing but a peel the man after a while. Okay. So from you know from so, so much some of them experience there would have been good for some of them people, you know, because then get those certain things. Them, them wait on the parents to give them money for, mm -hmm. for, for, for Christmas more than, you know... Kind Working of, towards getting yeah, their money yeah. for themselves. Uh, yes, and people talk about child labor. It's not child labor, it's experience for certain things. Okay. Because growing up with my grandparents as a farmer, as a farm, farm, farm child, I have, that, have this mentality where you work for your things that you want. Yes. Right? These kids, they just sit and just get it. And when they get it, they don't, they don't appreciate, appreciate it. Appreciate it. Mash up. Exactly. Oh, boy. No, no, what I try to do with most of my kids, because most of them don't live with me. I have one son that lives with me. Mm -hmm. I keep them on certain little P's and Q's whenever they come to visit and stuff. Yeah? Mm -hmm. So I tell them that, listen, I can't work 24 7 for you to get a tablet and you just boom and mash it up just like that. Right. Yeah? I have them doing stuff. I have them, listen, I'm, I'm, doing, the, I'm doing the yard work today, so everybody's going to participate. Yeah, and stuff like we go to my grandmother's house, um, even though she, she died and gone, we make sure some do some cleanup. Yes. I'm, at their house. I'm, I'm there on the phone with them. I'm saying, Mom, what are they doing? This is what you have, you have to do. You get up early, you sweep up the yard, you make up the bed, you clean up the room. You don't have a maid. Right. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm not supposed to clean up after you. So if most of the parents teach, just like all their grandparents, or they, they, their, their mother's parents teach, taught them, mm -hmm. most of the things would be better. Most of the things will be better. And this one thing that has me vexed is that when my child does something wrong, me not for licking police or come, come for me. Mm -hmm. now, you have an income for me. <laughs> yeah, my, 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 oldest, my oldest is 25, and my, da my daughter is still afraid of me. You know, the same way. Uh -huh. things, she consulted me first. Okay. It's not a fear that you're free that that was Yeah, but there is yeah, some that, level of friends. respect yes. that you don't yes. do certain exactly. things and get away with it. Exactly. Right. Exactly. All right. Yes. Well, the yes. boy, thank you so much. We hear more from you later on as we go through, yes. please. I, when the I, memories I, come back, jot them down so you don't forget them. All right. Cool. <laughs> All right. Thanks for calling in. So, um, there, th there, that's interesting that you have parents today who still try to instill certain values mm -hmm. and show the kids certain his history so they can understand and still develop certain attitudes still because even like he said spread the bed and you know some kids nowadays they don't do those things yeah. and one of the particular things i think i like well if my memory serves me correctly um the former first lady michelle obama she had her kids yeah um cleaning up their rooms mm -hmm. And spreading their beds. Um, and that, I, think, I think that was extremely good because they did have persons who could do it for them. Mm -hmm. But she was trying to say to them, listen, you have to learn to be able to help yourself. Yeah. You know, you have to reach a place where you are self-reliant, you're independent, you can manage to do this in the event that you're no longer in the White House where you have persons cleaning up after you. You should be able to clean up after your own mess. And I think that was really, really good. <laughs> one, right? a, one, 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 one of the things that I would know, like, my youth, them grew up come do, mm -hmm. that I used to do, yes. or that I did from back in the days, come wash them clothes in a wash pan. Why not? You get me, I say? What make? In a them time, you know. Why? Why? In a them time, now. Hold on, them People man. don't have time for oh, this no more. People like working, yeah. people like me and you, what them have, like have time them for? Know. What do you mean, no? No. No, sir. You get me, I say? I don't want them now. You know what it is? A Friday night I time. I know what it is. When I want to go play. But <laughs> you know what it is when I want to go play. Me come home. Hold and mommy said to me, say, you make sure you wash my clothes before, you know. You so even, it was punishment yeah. to you back then, then? Yeah. It was painful to you. Listen up, man. Me virgin them and everybody are play. <laughs> right? And me can't go play. Right? <laughs> you get me, I say? 
And me have to do that wash my khaki clothes and all them kind of things. Eh? Yes. And then when Saturday come now, and my khaki clothes, I'm wash it, wash it now. Because, my school clothes. Uh-huh. Because, my mother said, listen to me. You don't know if rain's going to fall um, Yes, on tomorrow. Sunday. So you have to do that yeah. from Saturday. Saturday. Yes. Right? So, I have to make sure I wash them Saturday. Right? My regular clothes, I don't wash my regular clothes. Mm-hmm. My mother wash my regular clothes. Right? But my uniform, mm-hmm. where we call khaki, yes. I have to wash them. <laughs> but, but, but prestige. I don't agree with you none at all. This mm. Because So you don't I want believe... to say no. You want, you want, you don't want your youth to experience that. Yes, man. You, you don't easy me than, didn't wash you it. Better than, you don't better if you, when I used to go to country, I'm going to spend time with my great-grandmother. Mm-hmm. And when we go wash, we got a river. I will wash, right? With the clothes, them, pan the big stone. When yeah. we are scrubbed, then come in and use brush. Nice. We don't use brush. Well, I didn't live in they the country, but I visited and, and, and I thought that was nice. And we are washing and scrub, mm-hmm. and wash and scrub, and we spread it up on the stones yes. and stuff like that. That no, I don't like my youth them to come grow up and you know experience that. But they wash pan so what, and what, eat, hold and on there. what about the river enticed you? Was it the ladies after who were you bathing finish, after? No, after you finish people when when I be there be you know that nobody do I know you know that don't it I think prestige I mean, I listeners I think prestige <laughs> enjoyed that part yeah. of the river washing process you. more than any other part ever yeah. caller on the four five three <laughs> hello caller good night good night you dear how are you darling okay brother I am not happy with what prestige is. Mm-hmm. tell me why. Fun. Because the can tell you something. You see this washing machine? Mm-hmm. That's why they're not learn to do anything. Mm-hmm. They must sit around the pan and rub them clothes to them and I'm sure that it's clean. Mm-hmm. You understand? That's what we grew up on. So what happened is if, 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 if child or our child come and do the same thing. I agree so you said you have a washing machine to but sit with the pan too. Yes, man. True, true. When? <laughs> when? In I this time? I used to wash my clothes and a piece of what they call the scrubbing board. Mm. And the clothes used to clean. Mm-hmm. Oh. Them time so she never used to wear ne- fingernail and all them kind of eh? something there? Well, that's why they cut off the fingernail and go like this. <laughs> 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 them are young people know what they're not going to do that. Oh my because goodness. You can't peel banana, prestige. <laughs> yeah. So, you think that you can't peel banana? They don't have to peel banana more. They might get banana peel already. So, and so tell pass. me. <laughs> tell me something, caller. Did you ever use the, what is called the corn stick as brush? Of course, darling. You burn it on the fire and rub it off with the knife and use it to wash clothes. Oh. Uh, and I... use the scrubbing board. So, the person is a top boat. Yeah, well, washing machine in the modern days. This, eh? was listen to me. <laughs> let, me <laughs> let, let, let me tell you something in mm-hmm. this time. Yes. The younger folks them right now, they don't want to experience that. Can they go mad with it? They go vex with you. Mm-hmm. They're vexed with you, but they're right with you. The right way? No, 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 that's what you say, you know, prestige. Yeah, but they're not going to do that. Prestige, when me, I grew up, you know, prestige, you know, know about pipe in the yard, you know. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, water pan, spring. Mm-hmm. And then you pick, you know, what days, if you're in the kitchen, I cook on the, the pipe with the fire stick, you take water, give it a phone. Yes. And we used to have a school job every weekend to go back at school Monday morning. I yeah. want to tell you something, caller. They are supposed to wash the dishes in the sink in the kitchen. And they're having a problem with it? They're having a problem. Yes. And back then, you, I remember washing outside on the potter oh, with the pudding pan. Yeah. Exactly. And change the soap water and put in fresh water for rinse. Yeah. And then there were persons who did it worse than me. They had to go and fetch the water wherever, far, far, and come back. Yes. So, so, we're not doing with prestige. Yeah. So, so, wait, wait, wait. wait. You, All right, you, Carla, thank you okay. so much. Okay, Carla. <laughs> Clear. Keep it locked. Yeah. All right. Clear. Yes. Your youth, I grew up, right? Yes. My youth, big no still, but. Big, yeah. She definitely learned certain things. Yeah. We, we don't have a problem with that. Yes. But in, this, in these modern days, right? You get me, I say? I grew up a youth, right? 
And you're gonna tell me, you know, say you're gonna have your youth a wash in a washing pan the same way, right? Because I saw you want to grow them up. But, but the reason for that, you, you never, know, you never, you never, you never no, before. Hold on, a man, prestige. The reason yeah. for that is when a child growing up sees mommy throwing everything that he or she wears, yeah. just throw it in the machine. When the time come, God forbid the machine for brought down. Yeah. And it is a case where now this child is now no longer 9 and 10, but reach 15 and 20, 15 and 16 growing up. Yeah. They won't even know when the underwear wash properly or when the dirt in the color of the shirt come out. But, they but when just... You throw, you throw underwear in a washing machine? No, they are, what I'm saying is there are persons who do that. Yeah, but what I'm saying, you're supposed to teach a girl, your child, how to wash underwear when they're in the bathroom, no when they just store them up, when they're my beard. Not only that, but then there are yeah. persons who will tell you that, okay, when they put it down, yeah. at the end of the week, there are persons who will wash their thing at the end of the week. Store them up. Right? Yes. And the children have to go outside in their yeah. pickup. Get a little pan, yeah, and then soap and then water and sit on and scrub, 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 and scrub. You can scrub, scrub. Me? Uh huh. Me good pan that. Man. Okay, good. Yeah. So, <laughs> so they had to do that. They're supposed to learn mm. to do the washing and observe and look. They look at socks and so. We're not talking about panties, you know. No, and anything socks, at you know. all. Uniform shirt. Of... At nine years old, I had to wash listen my to uniform me. blouse to me. and listen the uniform. Listen to me. Listen to me right now. I'm not going to tell you something. I wouldn't say to my grandkids, them now, you know, say, uh-huh. listen up. Because my kids, them grow now. And I'm going to say, listen up. This is the way we used to do this before and so forth. Me, me not going to have them fear X, Y, Z. Because if washing machine break down, then can anything go laundry? No, sir. No, sir. Sit down here and wash your clothes. Can anything go laundry? Pipe run a back, man. No, sir. Oh, with, with, Sink run a back. Go wash with the pan and soap. That, at least this Wait. man. Where you going to get them youth? Prestige, I know what they have to do that. you know what? Where prestige. you going to get youth? Eh? So, Nyla has a question you for your prestige. You save all food. You, put, you cook all them dinner and give them dinner. And they, they don't even want to eat them dinner. The way they mad with you. I'm vexed. Well, make them mad and vexed all the more vexed. How do you clear? Nyla has a question for you. Yeah. So, Prestige, what would happen if there is no electricity. Yeah. Bad pan washing a fig one. If there's no current to plug in the, the, the machine for true, mm-hmm. then I've washed them bad pan. Go laundry mat. Then if you don't have current at your house, we are buying a washing machine for. No, the, if current, the current go away. If, if, yeah, I'm um, for go away. Yeah. You wouldn't make them wash in the bad pan. Then wait until current come back. Wait, wait until current come back. Jesus, when? deliverance. No, sir. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Wait until current no, come no, back. No, 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 no. Let's see what Lisa saying because right now I feel like it's at the road in the studio. Then the yeah, current come back. Um, Lisa says these generation have life too easy. That's yeah. why they don't want to work. It's true. And she says, no, sir. I have too much furniture. Well, okay, for a two room mm. earlier, <laughs> she was talking about the rooms. So she's saying that the generation of today, they don't want to work. Yeah. And they ha- because they have lives so easy. Uh-huh. And it's true, Lisa. It's really, really true. Um, let's see what Mr. Jackson saying. Me used to play Dolly House. <laughs> and I guess so, missing certain things for the first time. And we know what you all saw for the first time when him playing Dolly House. Mm. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Oh, boy. No peeny panny. Pini, <laughs> Pini what? Um, Lady Gillette from Nuts River. Good night, Cleo and DJ Prestige. Good night to you too, my darling. She says that the grandma days mm. were the best ones. Best, yes. Well, to be honest with you, you know. For real. I mean, I know if my grandma... Well, I, I spent some time in the country with my great, great grandma. Because mm, mm-hmm. I knew my great, great grandma my grandma my great grandma and i knew my great great so i was privileged oh, yes, yes man mm-hmm. but i spent some time with my great grandma yeah, mother, mother, mother. yes yeah. and i spent time with my grand my great my great grand your grandmother and, and your great grandmother great grandmother right great great grandmother yes, i know her i was That's big enough for girl. yes man i knew them three generations yes we're we're a long living family like that yeah thank god yes so when i was in the country visiting my great grandma I don't know, may God rest, bless, her, um, bless her soul. She passed on God. Mm. I'm not sure if as a child that was the best time for me because may I tell you the truth. I remember when I am on the little side bed mm. beside great-grandma bed. Mm-hmm. And it's like in the night now, being in the city, you used to light. And so, you know, so back in the country, they would be used to the lamp. 
Right? Back then. Up in our, you know, I talk, my talk, you know. Because no, hold on, man. No, you know. me only I say. Oh. No, my talk was. Okay. The, me, me never seen no TV when mm. me go country. Me never seen no TV. So you TV. don't know nothing about knocking TV when you say the line, line, like TV, the man is something. Yes, I mean, no, about that. But what I say is, back then, yeah. the part where I did not enjoy was when grand, great grandma's bed. Yeah. My look bed in the corner. Uh-huh. And it's like, me can't sleep. Yeah. All mosquito bite you up. Mm-hmm. And great grandma asleep. Mm-hmm. And it's like, as you move, Cassidy, stop, shake up the bed. You have to take your time. And like, you know, one stiff jacket, I try to turn when you want to. Because you mm-hmm. can't sleep. You mm-hmm. can't, you're, you're, you're tormented. Mm-hmm. You're about 10, 11, 9, 10, 11 years old. And it's mm-hmm. like, how do you stay in a bed? And you have other siblings there. And I'm cousin. And you want to try, you want to try play and attack in the, the night, you know, but she's upon. You go to your country, you bed. You're there country, yeah. go to your damn bed and go sleep, because <laughs> you're there country and the time <laughs> no, comes for you go sleep. No, sir. Go sleep like yeah. early, early, you know? Yes. Like as darkness just come down, you yeah. must go to your bed. No, sir. Go to your bed. You never try to party at all at all. I don't like you. you have a whole mm. day for play. Mm-hmm. Got a river, do everything. No, sir. I never like that part there. So I, w- I don't think I would have wanted that part. I don't think I would have wanted my child growing to experience that part where them just feel like them in a stiff jacket. Yeah. You're dying for morning come and morning can't come. Because when morning come now, you know, they, yeah, they can't play, can't go pick fruits and so on. But the other part to it now that I really liked was when she cooked the rice and peas pan the coal, the wood fire. The wood fire taste in the, in the pudding and the the, 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 the rice and peas, man, and the meat, they just taste nice. You want us yeah. eat, 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 yeah, yeah, eat you the know, whole me time. I, yeah, you know, I like with my grandkids, them, when they, if they come to Jamaica. Mm-hmm. But it, this, this time now, a different time now. Because, mm-hmm. and I like, the, the, back in the days, you were usually, yeah. And we're going to hold that thought. Boy, I tell you, time man, flies. It's yeah. now 10.02. The time is brought to us by VJ Printing Services. And Real Talk is sponsored by Native Audio Stage and Lighting. Stick and stay. We soon forward. Architects, draftsmen, and surveyors, get your drawings printed in high-quality professional standards. We can satisfy your printing needs. Whether it is for presentation to your clients or for submitting building and subdivision application, make it VJ Printing Services. Whether drawing by hand or with computer-aided softwares, we will plot your negatives and print the copies as you need. We do high-quality white paper printing that is water-resistant and never fades, unlike traditional blueprint. For more information, call VJ Printing at 8 Eight nine three two two six six. Business operators, local and overseas. This announcement is for you. Styles FM is an internationally known radio network with worldwide listeners in over 120 countries. From our studio in Port Antonio, Jamaica, to the ears of the people in your community, our listeners can be your new customers. Styles FM is an economical, efficient, and effective advertising option for your business. No matter the size of your business, there's always growth potential. Styles FM provides the customer reach needed to realize that upward movement. So procrastinate no more. Advertising is a must. For more details on how to advertise with Styles FM, visit www.stylesfm.com or email info at stylesfm.com or call us on 876-518-2399. Styles FM, the world listens. Good day, driver. You notice that you're parking in a no parking zone. You know, so you can get a ticket for this, sir. Really, officer? But just want to pick up some hardware supplies, you know. Do me a beg you. Give me a blind, no? So if you need hardware supplies, why you don't go to Ramtula Supercenter and Hardware? Ramtula Supercenter and Hardware, 34 Folly Road, Port Antonio, Portland. We stock a wide range of products at the best prices in town. At Ramtula's Hardware, experience the three C's. Comfort, competitive prices, and convenience. Ramtula Supercenter and hardware opens 8 a.m. to midnight seven days per week call 715-5132 email ramtulasupercenter at gmail.com remember we have the best prices in town don't miss the adrenaline rush with the musical ingenious digital team 
Saturdays, right here on Styles FM from 4 to 8 p.m. Remember the uprising artists and new music segment from 5 p.m. to 6 p.m. Also, mix journal hour from 6 to 7 p.m. And the party hour from 7 to 8 Come, Styles FM. Digital tip. Our brain. Look, man. 90 stage and lighting now offering stage lighting and trust systems for your small and medium sized events whether it's a stage show concert drama play wedding street party or club setting you name it we'll bring it to life call us at 8715212 or 8446531 native audio stage and lighting a sponsor of in the know of the law with sergeant del rose green and also real talk with lady cleo and daddy rude Welcome back to the very interesting discussion um, about some of the things that we did as children that we would or would not allow or even want our children to do or not to do now. And before the break, Prestige was on an issue that um, you were about to say yeah. you would want. Yeah. I wouldn't want my child to experience that Kaya bed, according to yeah. Daddy Road, <laughs> the yeah. Kaya bed situation. Yeah. I wouldn't want my child to experience that. But I really. like my child, um, grandkids, right now. Not my 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 kids, them, grandkids, them, for come to Jamaica. But I don't know how I can get Kaya bed no more because I don't like them because <laughs> experience that. <laughs> they lie on a Kaya bed and make Chinka bite them up. Yeah? Well, chick that foreign too. Yeah. So I guess if they come here and were to experience that, it wouldn't be such a bad thing. But me not think we fight them, they chink. I bite them up before them. I don't like the experience that and them things I like experience. Not if you come come wash them and wash them pan and then and kind of something. But, but but isn't it worse if mm. Chink were to bite them up? No one and then come and them say, but uh, granddad, uh, you know, uh, what is these little things? I say, are them things I'm experience in life? Me go through them things there. Eh? That's the reason why we're not here now. So no experience them things are right now. I chink them things here. Bite them up. Yeah, and then lie down and all the kaya push out and just juke them all over <laughs> and them cry about all them missing bed is nice, nice bed in America. We have a caller on the 453. Hello, caller. Good night. Uh, hello, good night. Hi, Prestige. Yes, sir. Um, um, did you know that fatality is very much a feature of our uh, today? Yes, man. Yes, man. It still exists. Yeah. 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 still a whole heap of it still because... Uh, many times people have to use it where some places now have no water. You would surprise. Uh, there before you said I use one of them too. Well, the roach, I run up and down <laughs> beside my butt, but. Yes, but the <laughs> roach, I mean, I, yeah. But, but you know, I'm prestigious to tell me the remedy where I'm used to using like that. Yeah, man, I can't tell you, man. Because you seem to know everything, but I can give me this remedy. Yeah, I say, then I'm washing a washing pan. Yeah. Or a bath pan or whatever. I can tell me when hurricane comes, when no current, and if he, how long? Mm. All them, all, all them will have managed to free money to wash if they have to be closed still when current comes. Nah, we just recycle clothes, man. Recycle? We recycle clothes, <laughs> yeah. As long as they're not wet up, we just recycle clothes. You know, what people will have a wet up clothes like that prestige, man. Yeah. <laughs> it's reality, man. Reality and reality, man. Yeah. Uh, now, you don't have more than the pit and it and mm. you know, all, all the women if you... Them but that, but I like, right. but, 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 but when you talk about Peter, but I don't like my grandkids them come down and Jamaica, make can experience that. I mean, you them, eh? Yes, <laughs> and when them day in there, and 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 and, and we just go there in the night, and we just light. When we do the night, Peter and and do do. What we do, we just light, roll up, roll up, roll up a newspaper, and turn it in a torch and light it. And, and roach around up all the places and put you over there and run that. them. Because see, I drive your grandkids them around and yeah. the area. That's what I tell it. Before. And them something more want to experience. Me don't want to go experience something where you're washing at this and washing at that and it's a river me or can then go. Then I can't carry my public territory convenient. Who? Uh, <laughs> me not care. You want to talk. You want to talk. Oh, yeah, me not care something more want to do. All and right. And come to Jamaica, you can go lie down all for them kaya bed there. And chink bite them up and them, all them kind of things there. Eh. <laughs> you, you never look for that. That never goes away near you. Yeah. You will come. Yeah. Some more of these today, cause we know you have them, but yeah. this is a boy. You know what, and then they look at them things away, you know what I mean, and I have a washing machine in America when they can wash clothes and something, they come to me about washing a washing pan down here. You better be kind of got a river, I may experience that. And then I think better than any kind of things, them things they can't come back again. 
When I can come and come in Ghana, need a dry clean and I know when I run the, the little machine that when I have. Yeah. I run to my sitting, tell me what happened that time. Yeah. When I can come back at six weeks, eight weeks, we don't have no current or more. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Not true. I didn't come out of Jamaica rain and fall and then go, go be in the rain. And them kind of things there. Rain and fall and the water run off of the house with the, little, the thing there. Yeah, and then not today. Something. Yeah, I'm bearded in there. And then done, them body feel slime. I said, Daddy, oh, I feel so. The soap don't come off of me as yet. And then something want to experience. Where are you going to tell me what? All right, yeah. sir. <laughs> There's something for an experience. Oh, boy. Thanks for calling, caller. Um, Mr. Jackson says, Yesterday I was telling my daughter what is a chimney. Her great-grandmother is still alive, so I told her that the next time she sees her, go look under her bed. She will see Chimmy. Mm-hmm. When I said potty, she finally understood yeah. <laughs> and shake my head. <laughs> because she was potty trained. Yeah. So we changed from Chimmy to potty. So some words and some terminologies have changed mm. as the years and the generations mm. um, move up. Mm. Um, that you're was that, crazy. You heard that and know about Chimmy? Yes, man. She know about Chimmy? Yeah, man. She would have known about Chimmy. Eh? And I remember using Chimmy. You? Yes, man. Eh? I am young enough, but I'm not that young. Eh? Yeah, I remember. We, we, I remember the I remember Chimmy. You have re- different size Chimmy, too. I remember. Small yeah. Chimmy. No. Big Chimmy. You have Chimmy and you have Piss Pot. Jesus, deliver me. Yeah. But I remember back in the days when my great-grandmother used Piss Pot. I remember my great-grandmother using an enamel one, too. Yeah. Big one. Right. Oh my goodness. I get the shapes and my grandmother oh, grew up so and when oh I grew up with my grandma, she usually used chimney. Oh, yeah. the plastic one with the different colors. Like I have red the enamel and one. We have the enamel one with the big one them and the small one them. Uh-huh. Yeah. I mean, like I have the plastic one, one them. We grew, up, too... we grew up to go see the plastic one them. You yeah. get me I say? And then look where they and then you have the, the handle. You right? Yeah, you have a little angle, different colors. Some the big and some the small. All different colors. Sizes too. Yeah. Different colors. Yeah. I remember when I was a child using chimney for chew. Mm, I remember Mr. George, Mr. George, a country. You used to have one of them, the other thing he taught her when he buy brand and new. I really want, I don't want my children to know if use no chimney. Because mm. guess what now? Unless they are baby, baby, baby. And, but then you have potty. And it's potty. The potties now now is still modern day chimney, mm-hmm. aren't they? Yeah. You know, but then if you put them over the seat now, they have the pot, the, the, the thing you can put over the toilet. Mm-hmm. And the child can go over that because mm. it's small enough to suit their size of their right. bottoms. Yeah. And they sit on that and, and do what they're doing. Mm. So, but the, the actual chimney, we have to leave from this place with the, chim, with the chamber and cargo, you know, mm. in, 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 in the can morning. Can you imagine, too. can you imagine, road speaking, right? Mm. A child came down from the United States, right? <laughs> right? Uh, yes. And, you know, you get them there, that little potty train thing, right? Uh-huh. They know about that, right? Right. So, you know, come out with one of them chimney they know, right? <laughs> with the hand, right? And said, sit up for this Dora, right? And use it. You get me? Explore, Dora. Yeah. Explore. And she's going to say, and she's going to say, Grandma, what is this? But it don't have on any cover. You get me? I say, yes, I'm going to kill me. Eh? Can you imagine? <laughs> it's not a joke, it's, it's, it's one. I do rest that. But oh grandma, you don't have any cover God. like what we used to in America. <laughs> what you like to know if I'm this one? <laughs> eh? Dora, that would sit be, down yeah. and explore sit and what? what the chimney is like. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's see what the text line is saying. Brother Prestige and Lady Clear, good night. Same to you, darling. I am happy that I had, I had grown up, I had grown throughout those primitive days because it allows me to be able to live on when modern technology or accommodations shut down. We continue to survive while many others uh, stand still. So they don't know what to do. And you know, I'm glad too that I had the experiences that I had. I think I was born at the right time. Mm -hmm. So I was able to do certain things, wash with my hands. And of course, until you've been able until you were in a position where you actually had to wash and toil mm. and wash those sheets and those towels with your hands, you, you, in the you 80s, won't right? really know how to appreciate a washing machine, to be honest. You're born in the 80s. No, man. Hmm? No, no. Earlier than that. Yeah. I know, I'm no baby, you know. Yeah. Yeah. So let's see what Gracie says. Gracie says, Cleo, you make me remember my granny. 
And so she used to cook food, sweet can, done. I tell you, the food is nice differently. Burn newspaper before you sit down. <laughs> That's of course on the, mm. the, the latrines mm. at the time. But then um, it also moved up where you had the, the thing where you pull the chain. You don't know nothing about that. Me know about it, Mr. Man. No. We you... really didn't think so. We had one where you go so zzz. You don't know nothing about that. Sometimes the chain, the water don't come down. As some, and you go as some, again. As some rich people place, you go in and you see them things <laughs> they set no. like that because them does, you know? No, man. And now we see where mm. you go in some places and they have, as you move, it does flushes. Mm. You know, so um, technology has improved yeah. and advanced, which is good. But I still believe that the kids today, mm. they need to understand and be able to take care of themselves you tell themselves. me the average yeah the average american kids right now where a five or six right uh-huh. come to jamaica from the united states of america let's say from the united states of america your grandkids right and you carry them in one of them latching and tell him to sit and that <laughs> thing for do do <laughs> you think they were stuck by that <laughs> believe me you want to experience it but you think they're gonna sit on that Eh? I don't know if I want, I really want them to experience eh? that. I'll show them what it is. Yeah. But not necessarily experience that because they might very well fall in But there. things that you, you have done. You're going to have to stand, stand up and hold them over there. And boy, the whole experience of that just never so nice. Eh. I just see the big old drummer looking roaches and stuff like that. Eh. Running around. Yeah. And your food. They might run from you and you are running you know, from so, You know, so may I use the, 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 the title before, back in the days. I mean, stoop on it and I do what I do. And it is <laughs> a story me got him. Not tell a story, and the people don't uh, hear. Cause me always have a little story to tell sometime, you know. Uh, and this, this, this is back in the days, <laughs> right? And me never used to smoke or anything like that. And my grandmother, my great grandmother used to sell um cigar, right? Mm-hmm. That the one they roll up, so and yes. they, they would cut them, yeah. And me cut half piece and go <laughs> in the, the toilet and light it, right? <laughs> and just stop. Cause me never used to sit on it. Some of the time, me sit on it. Some of the time, me just stop on it. And me did it, and me light it. And me take two little puff out, out of it. And me take the second, the third puff. Me just feel red. <laughs> and me feel red. Me foot just slip off. And we don't mean that something. Me foot gone. Eh? <laughs> it's just like that. Clear? Boy, me feel like me don't want to cut off the foot. Yeah? <laughs> yeah, me red. Oh my goodness. No, no, I must say that's why I don't like cigarettes. Prestige, please. I don't like nobody smoke <laughs> cigarettes on me. Oh my goodness. That's the experience you want your, your grandkids to have because I'm telling you, yeah. these kids that you made mention of might very well just go there and just sit down comfortably and then find themselves going down under. Yeah? In all of that glorious coverage. My goodness. <laughs> Anyways, let's. <laughs> 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 the Vox Pop. Let's look back at the Vox Pop quickly for those who might just be joining us. Um, evidence of the generation gap. What are some of the things you did as a child that you would or wouldn't allow your child to do? And we're explaining the reasons behind that, this, behind your choice. Uh, what generation do you think raised kids the best? Grandma days, mommy days, or you as a parent or guardian. Um, well, for mo- for grandma, the second mm. part of this, mm. grandma days was better for mommy. Mm. But for me, I honestly think that mommy mm. days. It depends yeah. on the age bracket. Right, yeah. I think mommy yeah. days. Yeah. Um, for me, would have been the best. Grandma, mm. I think they some of them had things, their view on where how exposed children should be and the things that they should allow their children to be involved in, even at school. Mm-hmm. Some of them, I know they didn't probably necessarily have it, mm-hmm. but some of the children back then dropped out of school from an early age. And so, so your parents might not have gotten the opportunity to become and to do the things that they would have wanted to do academically. And it's not like all of them were really slow either. Some were really slow, they'll tell you, but not all of them were slow. But the, after, after a certain age, they had to like even leave school and go start working to help to provide for you know the family mm. and, and for themselves. But uh, on a different level again. Color and sewing on them something. Yeah, but here. on a different level again, you can look on it on a different level. Where you grew up with a grandmother and everything is fine, everything is nice, grandma nice and alright, and you grew up with mummy, and mummy so miserable. <laughs> you get me I say? That you don't even want to see around mummy. Uh-huh. 
You get me? I see? the grandma's were more miserable than mommy. No, man. My grandmother, really? my grandmother did nice. Nice. My mother strict. <laughs> yeah? You get me? Strict. But she brought us up on that level. Okay. You know what I mean? To respect people, love people. And pan level. But my grandmother was this nice lady. My mm-hmm. great grandmother, I should say. Mm-hmm. Nice lady. Anything for we, we can't run. Oh. Never run. And you find that that trend has continued throughout the years? Yes. Though, because the yeah. grandparents are the ones who like, maybe they say, boy, you know what? I did this with your mother. I can't bother to go through this again. Let me yeah. just let up and loosen yeah. up and go easy now. While the parents, my, well, my parents would have been the ones trying you up in line and keep you in, in check. Mm. You know? Um, let's see what the responses are like, Cassidy, um, as we go. One of the worst things is when you have an empty grandma <laughs> chamber. Uh, when she be turned over from board floor, I was rang for months. <laughs> Red oak floor or what's that word? Terrazzo tile. Okay. And coconut brush. We never like. So I wouldn't want my kids to experience. I'm not sure what that um Terrazzo. Terrazzo. The tile. Tile is, I'm not sure. Oh, uh, yeah, it, I hated I, that too. I, 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 the, the tile, man, the, the little, little square one. Oh, look, like, red, yeah. oh, look, okay. The little square tile. I, I, I don't like the idea of having been on my knees. Even today, yeah. my knees, them still black. Yeah. On my knees, cl- I'm um, polishing the mm. whole of one big space. Mm. And then when you look on your hands, mm. your hand and finger, them red. Because mm. you have to po- wipe first. Mm. Polish, but then with the red polish, and then we give some time for dry. You can't put on too much polish, mm-hmm. and go down your knees and a piece of cloth or something, something, and you polish, 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 and you make it dry. When mm-hmm. it dry, you get up, and um, you go back on your knees again, and you get the brush now, and you decide to do some holy pop physical. But it is so. But it is so. It is so nice. It is so nice, nice after what? you finish now, and you look for the work, the beautiful work no, that you son, have done. Yeah, you look get me nice, but you're tired like eh? a you're tired like a bull. You know what you're about to say about tired, man. No, and then when you're finished now, if it, eh. they come and inspect it, if they yeah. never, never even do good, you have to do it again and You know what about that? I, I, get I, all the map and go by it so if it clean you know, the night, because she The only thing back. about it you worry about okay, after you, know, you finish man. that if dinner ready. That's <laughs> all you worry about. Can you know so you don't feel your job? Because that's your job that you do at Saturday late time. And you just have say to yourself, say, what if the soup <laughs> land yet, man? What if dinner done, man? Yeah. <laughs> You're not worried about that. Um, Nyla says, oh boy, Prestige, you are something else. And of course, she can attest to that the chimney life did rough. Yeah, hey man, chimney life did rough with you. Mm, and mm. sometimes you have to carry it out and I wonder. Me, me don't know about the chimney pop. business. What do you mean? Me get up and me just pimp it through window. Oh, and I can ask the ambulance goes. Don't worry, chimney, because we are pull up in there and we just take out. Ah, ah, we really are ah. just pimp it out there. Because right beside me, there's a one dream. There's a people through that. So we have time to put that chimney busy. We have time to take up chimney and people that chimney. Uh, we need for the window. And those people through the window and pull on back the window. Yeah. Because the two little irons that we balance the window, we pull up. And I like a glass window where you, you open louver. Oh, my God. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. Gracie said, yeah, the tank was overhead clear. I remember that one. Yes. Enough people used to drop in at- <laughs> In a tall it's a prospect. That's Gracie. She's from Portland, right? Yeah. Yes, and of course, now in Atlanta. Come from prospect. Oh, um, my granny raised me till me, f- me a 14, and she did miserable like. But enough things she teach me. Don't forget the experience. Then I hated it. That's Miss hey, Gladys. Hey, Prestige, I'm um, let me tell you. Miss Gladys. <laughs> I'm mean, going tell you, mm. oh, me and granny used to trick Ronald mm. to mm. shine the floor. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Mm. Some of the things were good, but, um, and then I graduated from that after a while to um, the, the liquid polish. We have a caller on the 453. Good night, caller. We lost the caller. We invite you to call right back, all right? All right, let's, let's see what other text messages are saying. And then... Dutty wrecks the dog, come walk on it. Yes, son, it's true. After you clean up all the steps, I'm mm. like, I'm like three steps or so. Mm. Out the front, mm. red like, wow, man. Me Let's think, see. Me not think of my dog. My, you know, everybody back in, in Jamaica, back in the day, they have a dog in the yard, Rex. Rex. Why not ah. be Rex? 
<laughs> I don't know. A rover. <laughs> Let's see what me say this saying, Prestige. Yeah. Me love your prestige. No smoking round here. <laughs> me still clean my boardroom floor. It's pretty. Me have a polisher and the floor shine and pretty. What is that about now? Yes. Eh? Let me know if I know. Yes. Well, but me can't knock off that because... She's from the old school. Above beer, right down there before you go up on a spring garden, Pali, you know, that bar right there yes. and the grocery store, the store there. When you go inside there, shine like a whistle. Whist oh, man. And a red, um, you know? Yes, that yeah. red. And people still use their Whistle. red. Their, their red. No, they have liquid polish. A caller yeah. on the 453. Good night, caller. Good night. Yes, sir. How are you? Not too bad. Tell us your views on what it is that you, would, you didn't like or you liked and you'd want your children to, do, to know about it or to learn to do it. Okay. Well, washing. Washing? Yeah. I'm Wash cooking. Why? Eh? They shouldn't learn to cook? Huh? Your, your children should not learn to cook, that's what you're saying? Are you want them to yeah. learn to cook from wood fire? No wood fire, man. I like wood fire, I blow the fire, man. I make them learn to cook from wood fire? Yeah, man, teach them to cook from wood fire. Oh. oh. What about coal? No, nah, man. What do you mean, wood no, man? Wood fire is the best, man. <laughs> wood fire is the best. Man. <laughs> wood fire is the best. Yeah. But you know, say so I really can't catch one wood fire still. I'll more try to catch a cold stove, but I can't really do the wood fire something. Yeah. I wouldn't know the right wood to look anyway. No, but you know, so the wood fire, the wood fire the best, the best, best cooking though. Tell me why. The flavor that it gives the food or what? Yeah, man, the flavor gives the food a different flavor. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But you think yeah. in a modern time now you want to cook something? You have to go think for get up wood. Eh? Rain good y'all fall and wood wood wet up like a wall and can't catch. Are you not going to you know find, right? find wood out of the door? They know if you go catch up fire, if you go put on your rice and peas and all these, uh, all these things. Yeah, You're not going to cook for no man, youth. But, hold on, but back in the days, you know. Eh -hey. when time, when time rain and fall, your granny say, Come, come, grandson, uh, come, son. Come, go to the water, go load up the sick, uh, a rain season now. Oh. Yeah. The, you used to do that? Yeah, man. Oh. You used to do that, too, man. So you would want your children to come and learn how to do that now? Not, not really listen to that. Because you know, I'm learning time now, things go up forward now. But I said, maybe if there's time, if there's something still that going on, I'll be sitting now more. You understand? Mm -hmm. And I should all you sitting now for you now. How do you say? <laughs> yeah. Tablet and uh, phone are taking over the world of the enjoyment there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, son. Now, I forgot one time I take out my granny chicken leg out there. I want to me even. I take out granny chicken leg. I know, I know. Hold the pack with the chicken leg in there. It's hot, you know. Uh -huh. Yeah, I back it off. I hold the pack it and I squeeze it. OMG. Yeah, son. So we have a little stuff out there. I hold it and ball. I know, so I start to go. I went time to hold up a share. You're not getting a chicken leg again, you know. Uh -huh. You're not getting more meat. I throw the rice that I get enough. I get the meat already. <laughs> <laughs> and I know the wood fire made the food taste good, but I would not dream of going to 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 have to set up a wood fire right now. I wouldn't even think of it. You know what I say? If you get the kasha or the log wood, mm -hmm. I'm cook your rice and peas. Then I want to stop eating off a uh, off a wood fire. But the thing is, brethren, I do know the different wood. I don't know them like that. Uh Okay. So but I've got to learn about different different types of wood to know which one to yeah. choose for the fire. Yeah, I we'll get a country. Yes. I find yeah, a country husband. Yeah, it may say a country. That may say I we'll get a country. That I mean. Oh, that you mean. <laughs> yeah, man. Well, All right, you, sir. <laughs> use all the greater too. Yeah, oh God, I hated that one. No, sir. <laughs> I make sure I bought a blender quick, quick, quick when I started working on, on my own. Me can't manage that coconut something at all, at all. Blender. Blender Best prestige. Yeah. Prestige, yeah, I uh, agree with eh? Prestige, me, you want to see your face. <clears throat> you want me to use greater. This uh, every Friday morning, <laughs> right? And I hope uh, my neighbor uh, listen now. Because I don't like my neighbor if you listen to. Hold that thought, Prestige. Yeah. Call her. Thanks so much for calling. Keep it, okay. keep on listening, all right? All right. Cool. All right, darling. Yeah. Yes, Prestige. I don't like my neighbor listen. Because every, every Friday morning, 
she wake up and she broke must about ten coconut uh-huh. and a grater. You get me? <laughs> yeah. And she just broke the coconut so right over my head and she can go in at the front, go go broke her coconut <laughs> them. I move she listen. Yeah. You know. But me and my neighbor good still, you know. <laughs> me and her all right. But she can't go and say about them, but she still as when I get to them, she still use her greater and greater coconut in the same way. I look about her rice and peas. Uh-huh. Yeah. But when you blend Great. it for no, long, no, it's the no, same no, no, thing. No. A different it blends out very, very fine. A different kind of something no. Like you know what? We're up on a break. Yeah, when you cook pan coal fire <laughs> and when you cook pan wood fire, uh-huh. a two different kind of something. That. But when you blend it for long, when you get yeah. fine, fine, no. fine, it's the no. same thing mm. as greater in it. I'm going to teach you about 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 the different type of wood them. Right? Where After the break. Or uh, off ear, better yet off ear. Yes. <laughs> it's now 10.30, <laughs> people. The time is brought to us by VJ Printing Services. And Real Talk is sponsored by Native Audio Stage and Lighting. I'm going to my lessons right now. we we'll soon come back. <laughs> Architects, draftsmen, and surveyors, get your drawings printed in high-quality professional standards. We can satisfy your printing needs. Whether it is for presentation to your clients or for submitting building and subdivision application, make it VJ Printing Services. Whether drawing by hand or with computer-aided softwares, we will plot your negatives and print the copies as you need. We do high-quality white paper printing that is water-resistant and never fades, unlike traditional blueprint. For more information, call VJ Printing at 8. 893-2266. Appleton Jamaica Rum presents Rise Up Breakfast Party Sunday, October 28th Marking Stone Beach and Atabay St. Mary Music by Ashal Food and Blast Rockaway Next to see DJ Mental Admission 1,500 at the gate Food inclusive Time 6 a.m. until 12 midday Rise Up Breakfast Party DIB Black Factory and Hardware Supplies Limited Your home for the widest selection of building materials And hardware supplies in Portland Shop everything from plumbing to electrical to home decor Find unbelievable prices on tiles Toilets, basins, faucets, shower enclosures Vanity sets, doors, windows lumbers and much more. Get up to 25% off at DIB Hardware the last Friday and Saturday of every month with their mega month in sale. Visit any three locations in Portland, Buff Bay, St. Marcus Bay and Port Antonio. Call 993-4415. DIB Hardware. Your foundation starts with us. MoneyGram's great rates make sending money locally or abroad affordable. And with over 200 locations across Jamaica, it's convenient. Agents in Jamaica, Alliance Financial Services, JN Money, Lasco Money, and Victoria Mutual Money Transfer. Look for us wherever you see a MoneyGram sign or visit moneygram.com.jm. For fast and reliable money transfer, choose MoneyGram. MoneyGram, bringing you closer. MoneyGram and bringing you closer are marks of MoneyGram. All of the marks are the property of their respective owners. For a full range of modern eye care services, visit Ophthalmic Suites. We offer the latest laser technology in glaucoma care, LASIK vision correction, retinal and cataract surgery using premium implant technology and so much more. From A to Z in eye health and vision care, visit us at 34 Lady Musgrave Road, at telephone 6300958 or 7596449. Ophthalmic Suites, Jamaica's eye care technology center. Also located at 14 Miramar Drive, Morant Bay, St. Thomas. 1 Bramante Avenue, May Penn. 43 Fletcher's Avenue, Linstead. And 65 Main Street, St. Anne's Bay. Party people, are you ready? Stars 96 FM and DJ4, the ALS present Detour. This and every Saturday night, 8 p.m. to midnight. Tune in for the best mixes, the better mixing, and nothing but vibes. Ladies, 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 it wouldn't be a party without the ladies. Ladies special detour hour, 11 p.m. to 12 midnight. That's the Saturday night detour, Stars 96 FM with the illest DJ4. 8 p.m. to 12 midnight, you just gotta tune in. Native Audio Stage and Lighting, now offering stage, lighting and trust systems for your small and medium sized events, whether it's a stage show, concert, drama play, wedding, street party or club setting, you name it, we'll bring it to life. Call us at 871-5212 or 844-6531. Native Audio Stage and Lighting, a sponsor of In the Know of the Law with Sergeant Del Rose Green and also Real Talk with Lady Cleo and Daddy Rude. Welcome back to the show, ladies and gentlemen. Looking back at some history, things that 
parents did well we as kids did that we would want or wouldn't want our kids to experience now and we're exploring which of the generations whether it's a grandma or mommy or present day parents are the best and of course what are some of the things your parents and our grandparents did or believed in that you have adopted all right so we're going to look at some of the text messages remember the phone lines are open 876-453-1444 for local line and of course um, 954 334 oh jesus 954 <laughs> i'm losing that number Right. Thank you so much, Prestige. 7973. All right. So the, the overseas number, yeah. all right? <laughs> My mind is like, oh, boy, so many places right now. All right. So we look back quickly at the WhatsApp messages, right? Let's look at that um, in a more here. All right. So we have... Um, Jabin. Um, Jackson saying, I didn't like to create the coconuts. God bless Blender. Finger knuckles used to rub off. Yeah, man. Holy power. Eat rice and peas with finger in there. Choo, choo, choo. Yeah. Um, Gracie said, pitch pint. Pitch pint. Make the fire blaze, you see? Okay. <laughs> I agree with this guy about the wood fire. Not even kerosene stove my granny did like. Okay. Um, and I used to use that one too. Yeah. Let's see what Miss Sadie is saying. Me still use wood fire. What? Me have a nice outside kitchen and it's always load of wood. <clears throat> Them lucky. Them lucky. After draw the wood fire more time, Miss Sadie, I go and come visit you just to enjoy some rice and peas after the wood fire. Let me see, Dave. Yeah, castle. Yes, your mm. castle, Saint Anne. Uh, uh, them place are country. Country ish. Yeah. Are you fine? Are you fine? From the old yeah. school. So, yeah. yeah, man, I've got to visit Miss Sadie if you get somebody. Because um, cause my great grandma passed. Yeah. So, I don't know nobody know where I cook pan wood fire for me enjoy a nice taste with the gungo peas and uh, gungo and rice did have are the, the red peas. Just yeah. nice, man. You just want our overnight? Yeah. Oh, my goodness. The overnighter was the boss. I tell you, boy, yeah, man. Let's see what Katie and saying. I'm going back in time and reminiscing. I tell you. Good night, guys. Just checking in. Good to have you on board, Katie Ann. Um, What the boy saying? When Granny said, go look wood, never ever look pimento wood. Because then cooking no stop till, <laughs> till that done. Um, I earl, my earl, earlier this year, I got some stew jumbelin, and I guess that was from a wood fire situation, yeah? All right, we're going to go to a Vox Pop quickly and see what the people on the streets have to say. I wouldn't want him to skip school. I don't want him to skip school to go have fun. I wouldn't want that. I did that grade five, grade six. I was really bright, yeah? But I wanted to explore Porti because leaving from a country school to go to a town school, yeah? It was kind of new per se. I've gone in the town, mostly on Saturdays with my grandma, but when I go to park school, it was a different thing, you know? So I wanted to explore Porti. And majority of the time, as soon as break time, or lunch, well, lunch time, we're missing, me and the crew, we're missing that explore I wouldn't want my I don't want my kids to do that. Yeah, I wouldn't want because it, it no, it's more terrifying than then. So I wouldn't want them to do that. Some of the main things I would want my child to do is to disrespect an elder or disrespect anyone. Because children, the way it, it is on your behalf how you grow your child, the child will react. So you have to train up a child in the way he or she should grow. That when he grew old, he will not depart from it. In today's world, it's very hard still to deal with this generation that we are dealing with because there are so much different things to distract them. They have so much technology and all of those stuff where they learn so many things way 
we ahead of when we as kids were growing. So these kids these days are very hard for you to control them in the right manner because of these technology stuff that they have to um, watch and to play and all of those stuff. So those stuff distract them in many different ways and many different eras. So that's why we have this world that we are living in today because the kids live in very differently from when we were growing up as kids. I may not believe in adoption, but if people cannot have children, well, they'd have no, and they need kids. That's the, the other solution they need to take. But for me, I don't believe in adoption. I believe in having your own children or your own because sometimes you did very kid that you adopt and raise. Them say, want to come tell you, oh, you're not my parents and you're not this. So some of them is not genuine and not loyal because even your own opinion them where you go and raise can be so ungrateful at times much more for the one them where you had a parental. And nowadays are before from ancient time grandparents always spoil kids. So it's best for parents to grow their own children because grandparents always say oh you're not mine so you can do this and do that. Not like how when we were growing as children it is totally different. Grandparents always spoil the children them. Oh me and beat him and and do this to them so these kids get away with so much things with their grandparents very rare back in the days you have some grandparents were really strict but not all of them most of them spoil the grandkids because they don't want to beat them like how mommy and daddy will so for me i think parents growing their kids is the best result real talk all right welcome back all right so we've got the vox pop there and of course very interesting views one of the things that Chami said that i i am particularly in favor of and agree with is that we we meaning me and of course people who have their kids now in this time would want to ensure that we get the children to understand that they should always respect their elders look out for the elderly folks you know, try to be of as much assistance to them as possible. Even persons who are um, <clears throat> physically handicapped or persons who are not necessarily um, operational as they are, you know, two, all the members are in place. Persons who need assistance every now and again to either cross the road or to, even in schools, you know, children might have deformities or yeah. something. They need to be more empathetic and understand and, and look out for these persons and be kind and empathetic. You know, I, I think children are lacking that. They giggle when they see a child walking with his or her foot you know, not so straight as theirs might be. Yeah. And they look down on them like they are less less than they are. Mm -hmm. And I'm not for that. So I would want the kids of today to be more, a little bit more empathetic to those who are less fortunate than they are. Yeah? All right. So we'll go back to the rest of the Vox Pop. Well, not Vox Pop. The rest of the... <laughs> well, the Vox Pop idea, yeah. Um, so we, you agree that... Which time was the best? The grandma's raising of the kids were the, was the best time? Well, in, in my generation, mm -hmm. right time, my mother. Mother, okay, yeah. yes. You know? And for me, my, my, my mother, mom too. Yeah, um, my mother. My I don't mother. think that the one for today, oh, yeah. I think the worst one is the ones for today. The parents um, mm. Of today, generally speaking, because mm -hmm. the kids get away with a mm -hmm. lot of things, and when they come to even school, you're seeing where, oh my goodness, this is what goes on, you know, at home, and it's like they just free up. Them either can't bother the stresses of the world, the kids are on their shoulders, they're not sheltered like how we were sheltered, and not that we we don't still get into trouble as some of them might today. Mm -hmm. But I don't think it was as prevalent. And we also knew that if you're more in check with yourself because you don't want mommy or daddy to, to know that mm -hmm. you'll get yourself into trouble like this or you're mm -hmm. going to be doing this particular thing. Mm -hmm. You want to ensure that while you keep yourself in good stance with mommy and daddy because when the flogging starts, you know, and not normal. So you don't want that. But kids nowadays, they're not being clapped or flogged by parents they can't be, be flogged by teachers either mm -hmm. and so you find that parents just automatically over time when their fierceness comes out and when their 
um, in discipline, their disobedience rears its ugly head. Some of them just, okay, I'm going to take away your tablet, I'm going to this, I'm going to that, and, or just do nothing much. Mm -hmm. Many, Not all of them, you know, don't get me wrong, but many of them just do little or nothing. And the child sees that, sure, mommy too busy, you know, at work, but, coming in too late. And, just, that, just and that's one of the things, too, yeah. you have kids that grow kids. Yeah. Yes. Your, and your little sister. Yes, I hear little sister, right? Yeah, you have I grow to take a little brother. Yeah. You have to take care of little brother. You get me, I say? Because mommy don't have any time. Don't have any time. You see me, I say? Daddy might not be around, and right. he's even around. Too. Right. No time. You know, so. No time. Yeah. Mm. Let's look at the last part of this quickly. What are some of the <clears throat> things your parents or grandparents did or believed in that you have adopted? Oh, man. Now, this one, hard work. It's yeah. when you come on to working for what you want. Mm -hmm. My mom was that kind of woman. She would have done every and anything just to ensure that food was on the table. She would not just sit down and spread away a, a yard and depend upon husband or, you know, the man at home at the time. She have just got to go work. And for the life of me, I saw, and to, the, to this day I can't do it, I saw my mom take a little and nothing and turn it and bought stuff for the family's comfort. You know, we, 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 we moved from the kerosene oil stove, we had turned on the something so on it, <laughs> trickled down into the, that two burner thing, to gas stove, four burner gas stove. I saw that and I wondered how she did it. But refrigerator, we had to keep, we had to let the, the, the neighbor at one point keep some, certain things for us. But then she got her refrigerator. You know what I'm saying? So, and I saw where we just, things transitioned for better, so to speak. You understand? Because she wanted to ensure that her family was more comfortable. Mm -hmm. So when, as time progressed, she moves up with the time. No, I find that, boy, sometimes I get paid and I wonder by the time I quint. I mean, I know the times are different, yes, but the way she did it, sometimes I said, boy, oh, mommy did do this thing. I don't know about TV one. Back then? Mm -hmm. early, in the earlier years? No, mm -hmm. it was later on down, when, probably when I was about, I think it was after age 12 or so, mm -hmm. or there about. Give it a year. We got... The, Leave me alone. TV. We had to go by the neighbor to watch yeah. the TV. Yeah. I wouldn't want my child to do that now either. Yeah. To be sitting on a on mm -hmm. a on a neighbor's um look a step. We had a on TV a, on, a, home. on a a sack. You know, have, a sack yeah, we had a TV to watch home. the TV. I wouldn't want and, that for my child. And the TV have four legs. You know, <laughs> the TV yeah, I know those. Yeah. When I was in Virginia, I saw yeah. one of those. My yeah. goodness. And, no, but I feel like say legs then straight up like it, you know. Okay, then cock off yeah, like so. Uh -huh. That and, never looked good at all. When, when, when some of the time, you know, we sit down there and watch the TV black and white, you know, mm -hmm. and it's on line and line. I remember that there. one. And we just boom and lick the side like TV <laughs> and everything just straighten up back again and we just sit down and start watch. And pea rice grain, I mean, I tell you, let me tell oh, you something, man. Oh, boy. Yeah? We can, we can tell you if, if, if it's a cut, they the man and round it. We can tell you say cut it and a pea rice grain we are seeing, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah? <laughs> rice grain, pure rice grain. My yeah, goodness. but those years, you know, compared to now, mm -hmm. yeah? different, different. But I like my kids them now, right? And my grandkids them now sit down and I watch black and white TV with me. No man, no man, not a black and white round here at all. Why? You can't see what the color of the clothes they when yeah. they have on properly. Make the experience it, that no, we used to watch sir, before. Black and white. And me buy me buy big. What you calling TV you now? You need curve. What the smart TV? TV. The TV. Yeah, smart TV. Them yes, I watch and now. Curve. And me buy a smart TV, give them now, and then I watch smart TV. And I say, Daddy, wow. And you so touch pretty. Because we all you get me? Finger, and me say, Come. Answer. Come and sit down with me. And, and watch, watch, what? watch Bonanza with me right now. <laughs> you get me? I say, and this TV, can I still have one on TV? never watch it on my time, I no. still have one on TV. I hated the black... No, Mark I mean, you. I put no antenna on the panel every day. I there was glad the for the TV there is when we got it. But the black and white, I would yeah. never go back to a black and white right now. Yeah. Trust me. I don't like to sit down and watch all Bonanza with me. If Bonanza is still about, because I'm not... You know what I mean? I don't hook up all the DVD <laughs> and say if the DVD is still around. Uh, yeah? Oh, my goodness. You have a big button that I press. <laughs> And the DVD and then sit down and I watch it. And I said, Daddy, this is what you used to watch before? I said, yes. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. And look what you guys watching now. <laughs> All right. So um, some of the things that your grandparents believed mm. in that you still hold 
dear oh. to you now or have adopted. And um, as I said, hard work is one of them. And the respect. kindness where she have. Yes. You know what I mean? In her heart, the kindness. Mm -hmm. Yeah, how she look out for people <laughs> in the neighborhood. The kindness is yes. there. Yes. You know what I say? When she cook, it's like she cook for the whole oh community. Oh, my goodness. My mother, when she get the barrel, yeah. them, yeah. or when she get the barrel, she share out herself, basically. Mm -hmm. She finding everybody to give a little of this, a little of that. Mm -hmm. And I always say, Mommy, why you keep on sharing out? If you don't mention me, and, because I'm all the way in Portland, mm -hmm. I'm not even getting anything out of it because I said she don't share. She often forget say she mm. or me mm. not get any other thing on the back and on the on the food. Oh. So she's really kind like that. Yeah. You know, and I like the idea of um respecting others. Whenever I went to a bus or a taxi, even though good morning, I good say good morning, it's just good evening, in yeah. me. Yeah. It's a part of me to just mm -hmm. address and if I if I don't do it. Mm. It's like after a few minutes, I'm like, by the way, did you say good morning? Mm. The kids nowadays just go into a car and just jump in. Gone. Boom. Gone. Come they on. pass you by. They just, mm. You know? So those things, respect for others, not just elderly, but respectful and mannerable. Mm -hmm. Yes, man. Those things, I think, were very good things. And I adopted those and I passed them on to even my child. And even at school, I'm telling the kids, this is how you're supposed to behave. You can't be seeing a group. When I was going to school, I was seeing teachers stand up and talking, you know. And you're coming with the noise and you're running on the car. When you see the teacher, then you just stop and get yourself in line. And you're quiet down, you know. Not that you're afraid of them, but there was a level of respect. Mm -hmm. You can't be raucous and brawling and carrying on. And you see two the persons. kids nowadays, yeah. if you don't mind, sharp. Two persons standing they up here. String up, string up with them, with them talk to each other in front of you right there. Yeah, two persons standing up there talking and... You see a way around where you can go where you're going. Yeah. And you walk between the two walk persons. Walk the zoop between. Go, even, and nothing. Even in the town pass. this evening, I saw a little girl. She did it. She's not from my school. Mm. But I said, come here, honey. Come here, come <clears> here. <throat> go back through. And I think she would have gotten that at school or somewhere else before. Mm. So it wasn't probably strange to her. And she, she knew why I called her back. And she went back. And I said, if you're going to pass through the middle. Because we were so close standing up talking, you know. Mm. I said, say, excuse me. If it's a case where you can't go around, and, and even if you can go around and you choose to walk between here, because it's, it's open space, free space, just simply say, excuse me, and you go through, you know? So you have to teach them these, these little things. But mannerism, man, mm -hmm. and kindness, and respect for people were, are some of the things that I adopted, and I think it's good. And that attitude of being independent, too. Yeah. Now sit down and depend upon anybody for anything at all. Work for what you want. Work and toil and sweat for what you want. And the saving part too. Man, mm, my mother could have saved, she could have saved, she could have saved. When you can't think that, like I my great grandmother used to tie up a tread bag. Tread bag. <laughs> tie up her money in a tread bag, put in her bosom. Sometimes I used to say, Mommy. Yeah. I want so and so you can't roll with her. Yeah. I said, I can't buy so and so. He said, well, well, she at work and she can't buy you. So cost to yourself, you know. Mm. But as you grew older, as I grew older, I realized that boy, when Jody says, Mommy, I said, we cannot afford so. You know, yes, man, I the same thing your mother used to go through with you. Cause everything you used to see I wrote down to Kingston, you know what? Every single thing me did what. Mm. And I guess Jody. <laughs> Either suck the sour grape or something. But the younger folks, the, the, the younger you, them stay the same way to where yeah. they can in the supermarket. Mm -hmm. They do. You get me? Them pick up this and pick up that and if they can't get in this, <laughs> lay down the ground and start crying. Mansa Musa mm -hmm. says, no prestige on a DVD, a VCR. I remember those days too. The cassette. Did I say DVD? Yes. I said DVD, right? Yes. Oh, my mistake. Yeah, VCR. Yeah, VCR. That yeah, pushing that yeah, yeah, yeah. cassette, something, something there. Yeah. VCR. So what's a nice Rambo yeah. and Vanda, not, not yeah. Vanda at all. Yeah. Rambo and Sylvester Stallo, no, STM person. Yeah. Swartz nigga. And, um, and a VCR. A VCR, a VCR yeah, man, yeah, yeah, yes, yeah. man. Yeah. Rambo sure like used to come on them. Yeah. And Chuck Norris. VCR, yeah. And Clint Eastwood. Yeah. Yes, man, and them people there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we used to push in ear track and listen to music. Oh, yeah. Jesus. Okay. All right, let's take mm. the other Vox Pop before we close out of the Vox Pop for tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Some of the things I did as a child. Uh, crap. 
so much crazy things that I couldn't even talk about. <laughs> ah, my grandmother, my grandmother, my grandmother raised me proper. She raised me to a 16. Then my mother took over, but always grandma boy. So I think my grandma did it better. Yeah, I try my best to raise my kids in that, you know, in that era. Not with, with a little adjustment because everybody evolves, yeah. Um, but so far, I'm proud of the bigger ones, I'm proud of the smaller ones, but they're coming up. But the bigger ones, trust me, I'm, I'm mad proud. I'm one, of my, one of my son, he sit, um, what, 14 exams, and he got, what, he did 12 exams, 12. He, he got 10 ones and 2-2, two, two. yeah? So, I'm doing something good. And the teachers, big up. Lady Cleo, he <laughs> got himself. And I know what they teach him still, but they're a big teacher. I love that. The kids are love the same way. Getting back on point. The, the, the older generation did it best. Yeah? Grandma, grandpa. Trust me. I wish that more of their teachings were not washed out and we continue it. I'm trying my best, but trust me, it's hard in them time here because when somebody got to tell about you can't lick your picnic when they pick me do this. Me want them come lock me up, lick them of them backside that I feed them, I will clothe them. I tell me fullness, but when pick me wrong enough, you bust me ass. Bust them ass. Come lock me up after I'm lucky. I got child, me never really get the chance to go anywhere. We go to church, school, that's the only time I'm alone when I'm at school. But if I go to church, it's with my mother. At home, it's with my mother. And to the market, it was with my mother. So we never really get a childhood like that. We never really get the time to play that much with other kids. So my childhood was like I was by myself most of the time. And which generation? I believe risk is the best. Well, I think they did a good job because um, we I was brought up. Yes, I was born in a Christian home. Very strict. My grandmother was very strict as uh, never really grew with her that much. But spent some time there, yes, at, at a later time in a teenage life. And um, she was strict as well. But one thing I noticed with my mother and my grandmother is like, the truth is that my brother over me, which never really, me never really just jealous over him because I love him too anyway. So I never really make that get to me. So I can understand and I just leave it at that. But I spoil him that much. Everything me wrong and then blaze up on me talk low, but if him wrong, then quiet with it. So I never really like that about them. And um, what are some of the things? My, my grandparents did, my parents did, yes, as we say, me never like how they spoil, spoil my, my brother, my brother, yeah, and even my cousin, they were like the favorite. Well, for me, me not grow my pit them, so, me love my three pit them, me not love none more than none. People always say me must choose one over one, but me can't think of which one me should have really love more than the other. I try to love all of them the same way, and if one asks me for something as long as I can give them, fine. So I try to treat them with the same, the same way. I try to make them feel jealous, but they get them say, I go after the small one more. I protect him, yes, because um, he's, he was the youngest, yes. He is the youngest, so more look out for him, yes. But basically, that's it, yeah. Oh, welcome back. Let's go back quickly to the Vox Pub quickly, um, Cassidy. Um, I, I think too that I, I I don't think I liked, you know, is when they treated the boys, as she said. Some of the boys, to me, got treatment like 
the girls had to learn to do certain things and the boys not, did, didn't necessarily have mm-hmm. to learn them. I didn't mm-hmm. like that. I think boys and girls, and the, for the most part, should have been treated equally. So if, if, if you come out to wash a plate and to sweep up yard and so on, and to even wash some of the time too, yes, man, boys will learn to do certain things so that when them turn man and they don't have no female around them for help and for do things to them, they can help themselves. That's true. And that's why some of the boys nowadays don't have a clue mm-hmm. what good food tastes like, how clothes look when it's clean, or when it's ironed properly, or how for iron properly and all of that. You know, because they weren't exposed as a child growing up to certain uh, certain things. And I think it sh- they should be. Yeah. And Definitely. That, and, and that not going on my house. What? Huh? My sisters and I, Louis. Had to do... Oh. The same thing. Okay. I wash this dishes when the time come. Mm-hmm. I wash my own clothes them mm-hmm. when the time come. If I time for me cook, me cook. Okay. And same thing with my sisters. All yeah. right. We take turns. Yeah. Good. So you were well brought up. No woman can run over me. That's I right, brother. Wash this and wash that and cook this and do that. <laughs> you know and it's done properly. Yeah. I mean, yes. I like to do some of the things. Yeah. Yeah. But <laughs> no, you can do them. Yeah. But you, you can. Me? You yeah. can do that. Like when time I wash me, I like to hang up clothes. Master, you want to leave them in my pan? Maybe I you know, from uh, now till the morning. Uh, I'm going to bring mine to you on the right? weekend, okay? But I don't like to hang up clothes. I don't really like to iron. I'll throw them in the washing machine and wash them. I don't have a problem with that. In like for them out. Hang them up. <laughs> what is this? Yeah. You know what? It's now at 11 o'clock. The time is brought to us by VJ Printing Services. And Real Talk is sponsored by Native Audio Stage and Lighting. Stick and stay. Architects, draftsmen, and surveyors, get your drawings printed in high-quality professional standards. We can satisfy your printing needs. Whether it is for presentation to your clients or for submitting building and subdivision application, make it VJ Printing Services. Whether drawing by hand or with computer-aided softwares, we will plot your negatives and print the copies as you need. We do high-quality white paper printing that is water-resistant and never fades, unlike traditional blueprint. For more information, call VJ Printing at 8 Eight nine three two two six six. Ho, ho, ho. Styles FM, Jingle Bells, this must advertising package. Get more for less when you advertise your business with Styles FM this Christmas. Get 10 to 30% more on your ad packages starting October. Contact our sales team for details at 518-2399-374-8668 or 320-7670. Conditions apply. Ho, 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 ho. Rain or shine, Cinema Paradise. Porti Film Festival is coming to Portland from November 2 to 4. After launching in Kingston on November 1, the festivities move to Portland with Knights to Kings at Canopy House, Black Panther at the Craft Village for free, Club Paradise at Alligator Head, and the Jamaican premiere of locally produced shorts at Great Huts Resort, Boston Bay, with cuisine by Christian Sweeney, and a dub party featuring Teflon Zinc Fence. Grand finale celebrations will be at Goblin Hill Villas at Sansan for the 30th anniversary of the beloved film Cocktail. Special transportation rates offered by Nuts for Express. Space is limited, so call 876-353-3388 or visit www.portifilmfest.com to buy tickets online. Proceeds in aid of the Portland Homeless Shelter. Clifford Guest House. Sponsor of Metamorphosis on Monday nights from 9 p.m. to 12 midnight with Dr. Iman Black. Located at 15 Queen Street, Port Antonio, that's Ditchfield Hill, they offer accommodations for up to one month. Call them at 285-0610 for more information. Business operators, local and overseas. This announcement is for you. Styles FM is an internationally known radio network with worldwide listeners in over 120 countries. From our studio in Port Antonio, Jamaica, to the ears of the people in your community, our listeners can be your new customers. Styles FM is an economical, efficient, and effective advertising option for your business. No matter the size of your business, there's always growth potential. Styles FM provides the customer reach needed to realize that upward movement. So procrastinate no more. Advertising is a must. For more details on how to advertise with Styles FM, visit www.stylesfm.com. 
or email info at stylesfm.com or call us on 876-518-2399. Styles FM, the world listens. Native Audio Stage and Lighting, now offering stage, lighting, and trust systems for your small and medium-sized events. Whether it's a stage show, concert, drama play, wedding, street party, or club setting, you name it, we'll bring it to life. Call us at 871-5212 or 844-6531. Native Audio Stage and Lighting, a sponsor of In the Know of the Law with Sergeant Del Rose Green and also Real Talk with Lady Cleo and Daddy Rude. Welcome back to the last hour of the show. So we close out the Vox Pop for tonight, peeps. Thank you all so very much for tuning in to that segment and, of course, for giving us your views, um, your text messages, and your Vox Pops. Uh, one last one on the text line before we go. Good night. Those little chores were were our exercise routine that kept us in shape. Daron in New York City. All right. Thank you so much, Daron. All right. So thanks again, guys, um, for sharing. And, of course, keep instilling those great values that you learned from your parents to your kids and your grandkids. All right. All right, so we go to the letter for tonight, y'all. We got a juicy, juicy letter for you. And <clears throat> I wonder if Prestige and I will agree or disagree. I wonder if we're going to fight this one tonight. Let's find out. Dear Real Talk, I really love your show, and I'd like to get your opinion on my situation. In 2014, I took a risk and came to foreign through a marriage link. It took a while to sort out my papers, but everything could know. When I left, my girlfriend was fully supportive of the move, as she even approved of the person. Wait, I say. I left her a decent shop business to run and reinvested the returns. After the six months thing, <laughs> we're going on well. And after a year, she started asking me for money, and she knew very well I wasn't working. The lady I got married to after a while started to give me some bad vibes and wanted to up the money as I got a little work. Oh... She wasn't so attractive, so even though me did thirsty, no feelings was there. But I had strike a bargain and start touch her so the papers can sort out quickly. The lady got talk and it reached my woman ears a yard and her death of my problems get worse or got worse. My woman start flex a negative way and saying she's sorry that she didn't give that she didn't give anything long time <laughs> mark you i can't stop touch my wife and my woman are threatened to give anything about a month later june 2016 a brethren told me that my woman read or got pregnant and lost the baby and the man Eat out the shop. Judgment. You know today she hasn't said anything to me. And from my paper sort out, me not tell her nothing either. Eventually, she sent back the shop biz she set back rather the shop business and expanded it to sell clothes I send from foreign. I'm supposed to come to JA for Christmas. Or should I say Xmas? And my woman has a lot of expectations for us. I think she's wicked. How should I deal with this? Lord of mercy. <laughs> no. This selfish man leave the woman despite she knowing the situation left her and decided to go to foreign because him craven and gluttonous and want foreign things 
and want papers, leave the lady, go to foreign, just to get started out with papers. But he leave her with a business. Him leave the lady. Yes. Business can hug her up and comfort her at night time. Eh? Business. The man- Shop business can make her feel wanted and appreciated for much in months and how much in years and sitting in him gone for. The man leave or if you go. Forgot what? Look Forgot what? Be- for better, better himself. Men, forgot get better men for him and for her. Him. So, okay. Yeah. And him after married, for straighten himself mm-hmm. out. And when he married and straighten himself out, then afterward, he can marry, come down, he can divorce, mm-hmm. come down, marry her, and take her up. Mm-hmm. But he leave a business down here where she can make a living, you know, see it? Mm-hmm. And relax herself. And you know, feel sick. You get me I say, and pay the bills you have to pay. That so, means that enough of your worry, if you send money, come down. In, but you still send clothes, come down, see you. So long after, man, you send on clothes. But he, 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 him up there a touch. Mm-hmm. And because he might eat salt, you know. The man of your touch. So because he, what about the, the marriage needs of the woman? The one down here? Yes. What about the need that a woman that you leave a woman for how long? Mm. When that woman has needs, certain needs, real talk. Yeah. What is she supposed to do? Answer that. What kind of needs? Money? The same needs of the man up there where a touch have. Yeah. What she must do when the needs they come calling? Knock on her door. What business, she must do? A business the man I deal with. And him leave business only if she deal with her. Look here in her prestige. Look here in her prestige. Different kind of business I deal with. So you are telling me, sir, when him, yeah. because him up there I deal with business. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And touching. Yeah. Because him a fear touch, as yeah. him say. Then you don't have all kind of ties so down me- here. You have all kind of ties that you can't just go and work with the ties them until you come. You don't have to give oh away in cat. Oh my goodness. You don't have to give away in cat. Can you leave a business down here for you make money? Work with the business and take care of business if you do. Oh. And, and just relax ladies, are you until listening to this? Come. I want yeah. the ladies to There's call so in and ties. to tell me. So many ties. If it is that this woman yeah. has gone away. The only thing Miss where she really go wrong in yeah. to an extent is Get where. Pregnant? Yes. The pregnancy is something coming. Is mm. is it actually going to call it a day with this foreign foreign craven craven? Dude? I'm not craven, the man craven. Yeah, I'm not man like that. Like, man, they go deal with business. Craven man. Just to get her up and she can't wait. She can't keep her legs closed. She cannot keep her legs closed. And she gets pregnant. Can't satisfy. So I want to know. You see, I, I have a problem with the fact that she got pregnant because she, right. either she should have cut it off and said, "Look, man, I can't yeah. wait on you." Yeah. And my life and all will work safe. out. Or bat safely. I know bat no at all. Or bat safely. Because you can bat safe, real safe. Have I toys them and bat safe. <laughs> What's with you? All of, a, all of a sudden, toys, ladies, all of a sudden, toys become of importance right. now. Yeah? yeah? The same people who don't really want to have any toys is suggesting toys now because you choose to go off fine with your selfish self. The man leave a business. Find other lady. Leave a business for you. Keep on a dwell on the business that but, he but, left oh, here. But if the man is gone, and I leave not at all. Then you can find yourself a man. No. Find so, yourself a man then, man. Do you equate a business to a, to a companion? Yes, because... No, it's listen, not. Listen to me. When you don't have money, you're going to go out there to seek to get money, don't it? Oh, so, if you take her, your bill. so you're saying he gives her the money. So she he must set her bill. straight. Bill yourself oh, and wait and keep okay. your legs closed until the man come. Oh. You have toys. <laughs> I mean, I stop talking about that. I take care of use. All different sizes, all different kinds. <laughs> And you use awesome. and satisfy yourself until until he comes. Yes, because so he's he up there, there enjoying himself. And not a matter of enjoying himself. My friend, maybe I got a party for enjoying himself. Are we in no, no man, no man. He's touching. Hold on, man. He's touching, man. Nothing wrong with that kind of a touch. She wasn't so attractive. He so touch. even though me did thirsty, no feelings was there. Well, the lady was thirsty. No feelings was there neither. Right, because he's not going to eat for that. No, but no. He's going to forget him papers. She had no feelings either. What about that argument? She she didn't have any feelings either. Maybe not. Eh? Since him only go because him have in papers. In papers and he yeah. have no feelings. Eh. Him only a touch because, you know, him eh. want papers. What if she was only touching because she just want one companion at the time? Eh, eh, eh. Yeah. In a workout that? What do you mean in a workout? Work if you work out. Huh? Work out that or if you work out. Cause you, can, you can't want a companion at the time, you know. For a year, two years, you know. And then afterward, everything just break apart. Because you're going there for your, your papers. And it break apart. And you leave it like but, that. But, but you see, I had to strike a bargain and start to touch because, of course, the wife has said, Boy, how you now? You have to touch. You want yes, papers and you don't want to touch. So you start touch 
yeah. and the paper thing for settled quickly. Right. The lady got talk and it reached my lady ears, a yard. Mm -hmm. And at this same problem get worse himself. But yeah. hold on now. Mm. My woman start to flex a negative way, mm -hmm. saying she's sorry that she didn't give it. Cause chances are I'm a call the woman down here and him to talk to her, him tell her, yo, baby, mm -hmm. I miss you, you know. Mm -hmm. I'm a can't wait for to touch you again, you know, and mm. all these things. And yeah, the poor woman are buying story. But and I, I believe he said, you know, up there, I do not not talk with the wife because he not like her. But and she knew why he had done it. So him, him, she not think, say, probably him. And that was very naive of her, by the way. She, she's not thinking that he's into this woman or even touching this woman. So you are going to answer me new to no years. So yeah, hold on. Uh, the fact now that she discovered. By way of somebody else. And yeah. like I him tell her, him tell her, you know. Yeah. That's why he born her so. Yeah. She found out, say, him actually I touched the wife. And he can say, him can't stop touch the wife. Mm -hmm. Whatever reason, whether she yeah. forcing it or not, or mm -hmm. continue because of certain things. Mm -hmm. She go find out why he never sit down and have dialogue with her. And tell her, say, boy, babes, so you want to see so and so and so and so. Mm -hmm. When him all the way up far and she can't slap him over. Yeah. She can't punch out him teeth. Mm -hmm. She can't do anything at all to him really from where yeah. she is. Yeah. So sit down and have a dialogue with the lady man and tell her maybe, what is me, really going me, on. So me, she can understand. Because guess what? Telling her might result in she not giving it away or even still giving it away. But yeah. at least yeah. he was the one to tell her. Then she discovered how say, boy, I'm bridging, I'm bridging, I tell her, say, Mm. She are here by the wayside, so boy, you know, stop touch the wife and all these things mm. and whatever. That would, would, would definitely burn her out, I'm sure, mm -hmm. for what she did. Mm -hmm. Yeah? At the same time, I am saying, if you now relate certain things to her, and she's feeling a level of deception, right? She ended up now doing things in return where I can make you feel deceived because that's what happened, right? Say, you know? Why? Listen to me. Listen to me. In, openness in, 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 you know, yes mm -hmm. yes it may be a little bit late <laughs> by explaining <laughs> by explaining to her uh -huh. at the time you get me i say i mean she know what is what but at the same time this is nothing new to you guys mm -hmm. mm -hmm. it's nothing new you know so what, what should, me, should me, she have done just walk away or stay and go and build as you say stay and just go and build because she couldn't the man go touch Touch for what? Touch, okay. touch with her toys. Okay. Yeah, okay, but sir. the thing about it, the man got it for betterment. Mm -hmm. For him and her. And she just couldn't keep her legs, legs closed. You see me, I say? The one you can hear, she hear that she could oh, go up my legs. All that, that, all that thought. And, 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 and get <laughs> ready. We have a caller on the 453. Yes, caller. Okay. Yes, um, the lady, mm -hmm. um, the lady, she imagine what she done. So she does so much unscrupulous things. She she I'll do the man go and touch. She go take a man when you're out the shop. <laughs> she go get pregnant. Tell me which one of them. Why you just tell me now? She if you take money to touch the man, nobody will send the money to you. Mm. And she take a man when you're out the man. Mm. Uh, she wicked. Mm. Eh? You she think she took touch. him out knowing that he was gonna eat out the shop? Point taken. She should have stopped him. Yes. She's wicked. She wicked. She never knock the man and whatever. And she touch. She don't more. She don't more and touch. She got pregnant and leave it there. Mm. And the papers that are for P, the man who wanna papers mm. and and no uh, nails. But mm. she are pregnant and the shop never knock guy man. Put it over the shop overnight. Mm. So, 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 why you judge between the lines? Mm. Which, one, which one more dangerous? Oh, my God. Yeah, come in a woman where, 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 take a next people smile in the house, you know. Mm. Uh, take a picture of the next man in the house while the man has sent the money for Bill House. Must be God. Take a picture of the next man in the house where Bill has sent him, man. Wickedness. And when, in, when the man run off, in the run off, I will in deport him and come in the house, no house. Oh, God. Take a picture and, and next money mm -hmm. out there, I'll be like, I'll send to him and I'll say, oh, she'll be there. The man send crazy money. And when him, will I'm on him now and send him federal, will I'll send him out? No, I'll send him out there. Jesus. He better demise anyway after. So do they lie that type of thing if he stop? I think the woman more wicked there. So. Oh, my goodness. But uh, only the man, if he just realize, I'm holding cool and he'll say, he done gone, but already I move on from her because she's not good no at all. Okay. 
Alright. Alright, sir. Thanks for the call. Alrighty. Um the texter says, prestige you and fear. It's not about business all the time. My fleshy feelings too. Me have fleshy feelings too. Me have nature too. Come on, man. Okay, that's what one of your texters are saying there. Mm. Go back to the letter, Cassidy, or do we have another um message? All right, let's let's go back to the letter. No. The the man is burning out the woman basically, saying that she met the man in the shop. So <laughs> he he says, you know, today she hasn't said anything about the fact that she got pregnant. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Lost the pregnancy and the shop eat down. And he said though eventually she set back the shop business. So she has potential, yeah? Set back the shop business and expanded it to oh, sell clothes oh, I mean, sent from Oh, you mean far. she has potential? She has potential, man. She, yeah, set, she set back the business. Of him set, on his, man, of him, no, the man, the you man, don't the, know the, that. The, you know, you know, the man say, and the man where they are, where they are America, send clothes and all them things they don't and she use it and set back the shop. After she nyam out the shop before, we make our man nyam out the shop before and get pregnant for the man. And the man still up there, same things come down and she open up that business again. Yes, you go? Open up that business again. <laughs> so with how the, do you yeah? know it's the man's money that built back the shop? Then the man will say, There is no says, guarantees, man. man. Say, yeah. Eventually she set back the shop and expanded it yeah. to sell clothes I sent from foreign. Then that not just clothes him selling us and yeah. no money come. He no send no send. money. Then, you don't have to send money if you send clothes. What more you want? Back the but shop. the man never, but the man never gear no money. But when he leave, the man left a business gear. But and the businessman left gear. And it he make the same man we, we, we get her pregnant. So how do you think she he took the back? whole shop? How do you think she set it back? The man send back everything from America and she <laughs> opened back the business. <laughs> yeah. And but, she did it with her big but belly. At first, the man. at first, you know, it wasn't. A, a and she, a miserable person because the man, the man, she a miserable person for a go on and go give away the man cat. <laughs> you get me? I say, give away the man cat. You know, see, because what? The man, if she go here, say the man married, right? For better men for she and him, for get her come America too. I, I don't and think it's the marriage right. that got, got her. She knew Our. he was going to marry. Our. Him start to touch. Then that have to in the business too. No woman no one. If that, that is not the plan, that is not the and making. And then she's just supposed to just sup with it when she heard by the wayside and not from the same man who, come on, you. She was aware that he was going to get married. You think, she approved the person. Yeah. Why would he now start to omit information from you, her? You think, you think, now something I hide. Yeah, think, Call her on the 453. Hold yeah. on, Prestige. Call her. Good night. Welcome. Good, good night. Good night. Yes, sir. Me again. Yes. Gentlemen, gentlemen, please now beg you know, to listen. Uh, you cannot out deal a woman. Oh, hold on, <laughs> hold on, the boy. We we do have a caller on the nine five four. Yes. Um, we're gonna quickly take that one You're here because we don't want to lose the call. No problem. All right. Um, and come right back to you. Go go ahead, caller on the nine five four. Good night. Hey, clear. What's up? Hi, Dance. How you doing? Good. Um, what's what's your take tonight, you, sir? You, you, you know, when I have no problem with the girl giving the thing. Eh, uh-huh. what you say? No, I have no problem with that. Eh. Uh-huh. No, but the better thing we should do now, me, we can't support that. You mean the pregnancy? No, but it's a it's a it's a good, it's a good thing. Um, pregnancy is part of the equation. Oh, it's a possibility. So which part of it you don't agree with? The part where the shop eat down? The talk where make man yeah, man, yeah, the shop. Oh, oh. <laughs> the shop thing and... Yeah. And yeah, the shop thing. But yeah. even so... Um, so what are they? You're more having a problem with the shop where eat down than she giving away the cat? Yeah, no, then, then, no, realistic, you know. Uh-huh. In there the four years, in there in, in, in without her, she there without him for four years. You, 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 you really have a... Prestige. Yeah. You really have a, have a, have a, have a, have a, I mean, you have a hope that so you have a hold up for four, four years now. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But, but realistically. Realistically. That, Prestige want to link I, both ties. I look here. Ties, oh man. I look here. And she done, 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 she
she can give you the thing. That's a confirmation that it don't give you already. When a woman when a woman threatened that, you know, it don't happen already. Premeditated. No, no. When when she done when she said that when that when you see when she verbally said that that means it happened already because mm. then because then she put together ourselves ourselves that anything happened at least I know what I tell you. So you say for women it happens in the mind first, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and then you know, and then my my youth should not throw and say, um, in 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 give the thing, to give the thing. Mm-hmm. And also it's it. So so. So for me, me like you know, when we when we when we come down to Christmas, uh, we don't call it Xmas. You know, if I really check for like that, you know, you have to have a heart heart to heart uh, with her and, and because no no nothing can come down now and can and can more maintain um the relationship. Okay. Uh, the long distance. Yeah. So 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 do you uh, think she's wicked? <laughs> with the sharp part. Any part yeah. at all? Overall, she wicked or she not wicked? No, but the thing is careless. Not a question weekend. The thing is careless. Careless. But the, <clears throat> the, the sharp part, you see, we're, we're more point to the fact that, or uh, the supposition that she don't really care no more because we can't understand how your man set up your business and, and you to kill us to make somebody else come eat on the business because of, because of love or, or dick or... It doesn't make sense. Mm-hmm. So, so we have to assume that she she probably don't probably don't care, and 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 this and this is what it, and this is what the man when he come down now, he um he to start out from her to find out if it if it, 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 it she don't care no more, you know um is is this is this relationship worth pursuing still because signs are there that you know she she might not want she might not want to continue so. Mm-hmm. So I I him now and and then now him now him in a position can come on twice a year now three times a year. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So when so, man are coming continue with him. You, you, you mean? Yeah, yeah, baby. Yeah, no, your next man. No, but, no she not. She lost the baby. Oh, she lost the baby. Yeah, now. she lost oh. the baby. Yeah. Yeah. No, prestige. Yeah. When when him coming up, based on based on the answers that that she give him, you know, yeah. Then him can him can say same things that like, it's not coming on two two three times a year. Yeah. And, and 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 that is not so difficult to um to maneuver because in can show her in in wife in, in America say mm. look na start a business down there mm. um, I have a business down there and mm. and, 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 and um yeah some bad experience at the past and and you want more hands on experience so the, the, the reason that they are the quote unquote excuse for come down come to her is not so far fit. That 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 that, that, that if she ever feel comfortable with that. <laughs> well, well, look here. In, yeah. In, in, in straight now, you know. Yeah. But he's still married. So, yeah. In 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 things straight now, so I'm 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 not too worried about that. Yeah. And, and I think they have they still have chemistry because him selling 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 stuff to give her and she selling them and clothes and stuff and they, they, they can get back and mesh back and gel yeah, back. Yeah. Well, exactly. Just <laughs> just still, still some chemistry there. So exactly. It's, it's not a lot. It's not, it's not the last, um, last, um, last, no. Last. Don't give up on her. Mm. Don't give up on her. The cat is still good. So my time, th- th- them chemistry there, you know. <laughs> you see that chemistry? <laughs> no. Old fire stick. You know. <laughs> oh, boy. Well, thanks for the advice, Dan Dan. Keep it locked, yeah, all right? Boy. Yes, Dan Dan. Hey, oh, sometime, boy. You, know, you see that chemistry we are talking about? <laughs> eh? <laughs> they have some man head going, you know? I and tell a joke, you. you know? Let's see what 856 oh. says. Only one thing to blame her for mm. is to get pregnant. That's mm. really, really bad. Mm. And sometimes things happen to steal. Mm. Mm. Um, let's see what Nova in Peru says. Good night, Miss Cleo and Prestige. Nova in Peru, Illinois, locked in. Big up yourself, Nova. Glad you're on board, girlfriend. All right. Good night to you, Nova. So let's go. Back to the letter for a moment. Now, the bottom part of the letter, mm-hmm. um, Cassidy, mm-hmm. says, um, after she set back the shop, mm-hmm. he's supposed to come to Jamaica. You see? I know him want to let go the chick look mm-hmm. like, you know. Supposed to come to Jamaica for have to let go the chick apparently, yeah. you know, for Christmas. Because probably I'll come with all a new girl because he probably getting papers now and dash with the wife. Sad to say. 
The wife is no longer in the picture, and sad to say, he now has a new chick on his hands. And he's saying that the woman has a lot of expectations yeah, yeah. for us. Because she has a little secret on him, a female one. She learned about fame, him learned about fear. You either go and bury that my youth and move on afresh. Nobody going to dig up all, all buried stuff, man, all bones. Hmm? Me glad you Those come are to that. artifacts, man. We glad you come to that. <laughs> me glad you him come says to she that. thinks she's wicked. Yeah. So she be yeah. having hopes of them getting back together. Mm. And he is thinking that she's wicked. He said, I'm going to play the hypocrite now. And, and so he's asking us what to do. My youth, mm. the fact that she doesn't have a baby for another man mm -hmm. nurturing right at the moment, mm -hmm. this is your moment to fix what you created in the very first place. And him create the situation. That landed her in that spot, you know. Yes. I blame her for the fact that she never protect herself, mark you. But the, the whole scenario from the, from the get-go would have been his, his doing. Right? So you find that now that she got herself in a little mess, and she clear out of it now, and she put her a little shop for the man to leave, give her back on track, she's probably she's having expectations for both of them. I don't think she didn't give up on the man, really. She just got to try a thing and take a little piece and look a piece. I'm probably kind of sweet because she never go there for long, 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 long. She just burn out long, as Usha say. And at that, I can get catch them now. Probably, all them, probably even the, the condom was, was burst by the gentleman. Who knows? One thing with you, you're full of whole heap of excuse, not you? Yes, man, it's true. It's the eh? truth, real talk. But the me can't problem tell, is, you know. I can't tell my man there. <laughs> right in America, say, listen up. What you need to do, <laughs> right? Is what? Let dying dogs sleep and leave which it alone. Story, listen to me. Which is yeah, a story. And leave it alone because, yeah, <laughs> because between me and you, it don't make sense. You get back no, no, in no, no, no. Old because Easy for no, catch. It Love a, still there. It it up up on the break. So you continue doing no it. No way. No. And yeah. we continue doing it too? No way. You can't yeah. say that. Uh, we but up on 11 30 still... break and it's now the time is brought to us by vj printing services yeah. and this show is sponsored by native audio stage and lighting the final half hour comes back after the break architects draftsmen and surveyors get your drawings printed in high quality professional standards we can satisfy your printing needs whether it is for presentation to your clients or for submitting building and subdivision application make it vj printing services whether drawing by hand or with computer aided softwares we will plot your negatives and print the copies as you need we do high quality white paper printing that is water resistant and never fades unlike traditional blueprint for more information call vj printing at eight nine three two two six six Jatty the Reggae Ambassador. Join me this and every Saturday from 1 p.m. to 5 p.m. Right here in Styles FM 96.1, 96.5, 96.7 for the Tony Lauren Show in style on style. We're going to eat you off that G spot at 3 o'clock. We've got the Collector's Edition with Twin Spin. Inside Music Biz with Teddy Ledley. Enough, enough niceness. Right here in Styles FM. This and every Saturday from 1 p.m. until 5 p.m. You got it? Do you have or are you seeking a place to rent? Seeking employment or have a job vacancy? Are you selling a car or having a garage sale? Then come see us. Let Styles do the advertising for you and you'll be on your way in no time. Contact us at 876-286-9216 or 439-5160. Advertising Style. Advertise with Styles. Are you sick of living an average life and tired of just getting by? Do you want to take your life to the next level? Learn the secrets of the super successful. Listen to Power in a Half Hour with Coach Mark this and every Wednesday night on Styles FM from 9 to 10 p.m. Learn the habits of the super successful and how to make these habits work for you. Learn to turn your dreams and desires into reality. You can win in the game of life. Let Coach Mark show you how every Wednesday night on Styles FM from 9 to 10 p.m. Guess what? Styles FM has a new business number for you to call, text, and now WhatsApp. 518 2399 
to advertise your business and events, call, text, or WhatsApp us on 518-2399. 518-2399. Don't forget, 518-2399. Native Audio Stage and Lighting, now offering stage, lighting, and trust systems for your small and medium-sized events. Whether it's a stage show, concert, drama play, wedding, street party, or club setting, you name it, we'll bring it to life. Call us at 871-5212 or 844-6531. Native Audio Stage and Lighting, a sponsor of In the Know of the Law with Sergeant Del Rose Green and also Rail Talk with Lady Cleo and Daddy Rude. Welcome back to the final few minutes of Real Talk. And we're looking at the letter for tonight. And, of course, it's a case where this gentleman has his woman. Yes, he left, went abroad. The girlfriend knew about the plans he had to get married and sort himself How She even approved of the particular female that he was supposed to get married to. And of course, the picture was painted that, you know, it's just a business thing and not not go on. Mm -hmm. Not not go on. It's simply platonic, you know what I'm saying? But of course, later she learned that touchings are gone because inevitably he had to be touching in order to sort out the paperwork and all of like this and all of like that. And he had to convince this woman that apparently he is, you know, up to something good. Mm -hmm. And of course, when she found that out, she got mad, cross, angry, miserable, and decided that, you know what? I am going to start out myself to be called a virgin here. I don't feel thing, and I hear me here by the wayside. In her doings now, she got caught. Pregnancy, yes, came into the picture. And of course, she lost that. Shot them out and run right down to ground. <laughs> that part just gets me. And then... Um, he learned of her bad deeds and decided that, you know, uh, she not tell me nothing what I go on, you know. So he have him secret and she had a fair like a secret and all these things. But he didn't know that she found, well, he knows that she found out certain things about what was happening. And her little secret come out to light too. Now he used to come to Jamaica in Christmas year, yeah man, 2018 and... Boy, she having all these expectations and plans that probably they're going to go out and enjoy some weekends together, some nice hotel and sit on the place and some nice water park or something, some fancy restaurants and, mm. you know, mm. all these niceness and build back from what they lose out all the years that they were apart. But this man has said, boy, this woman is wicked. But I like hope to deal with the situation. Be like you have put it in. Go on, go on. Continue. <laughs> so, I don't think she's wicked. Yeah. I just think she never planned her thing properly. Mm -hmm. Where if she got to do something, mm -hmm. ultimately, it's the woman's responsibility mm -hmm. to ensure that she is 100% protected. Mm -hmm. Because the last time I checked, the only person who can carry another offspring or another life is a woman. Mm -hmm. So, if she's going to go there for the pleasure of it, because nature calls, and it's a natural reaction for nature to call. If she's going to go there by choice, because it can be a choice of where you don't go either to, you know. You have people who will not go, and then there are others who will go. So if you choose to go, and I can't tell you what to do, but if you choose to go, why not go with the utmost, highest form of protection? Protect yourself. No leave no robbers for no man sought out or fixed because we don't know what he will or will not do. Mm -hmm. Yeah? But, it, so, it, but she, she didn't have to go that way either. Yeah, ma'am. You know, she should stay, stay with her ties, then, right? Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We have a caller on the 453. Yes. Well, as, as in glass, as she nice, you know, him come down because he must send the money for what more about his job. I think God is sick to about the world, this boy, when I'm out of the shop, Oh, you know that? Because, uh, because I intend to, because she take up a man and the man start to eat the shop, because the man should have to eat that, at least she keep the business going. Yes. Right? So for that whole fire stick there. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. Because it's the same nature when you try to force out, you get. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. All right? You're a liar, you always, me always say you should be a liar. 
Oh, me? But, you did see here. Yeah, man, I just say, I would have fit you. Know, but my, my friend them from you know, school, they said that. You know, you know, justice. No, man, but guess what, man? <laughs> what I say is, law, lawyers don't normally give no justice, really, you know, yeah. some of the time. But what I say, though, still, mm. is that I understand that she messed up. Yeah? To an extent. Yeah. To an extent, yeah. she messed up. But guess what? It means no see it neither, you know, my youth. No, but she was part of the deal and the arrangement before he got there, you know. Papa. The arrangement was to just marry and get and start with himself. All this all about touching, touching and loving, loving start up. Where I come man from? I married him. I do a big favor for she and him, you know, because the woman married him and I help him to give him money before he even start work and to get him papers up that the money, because the US money stronger. And she don't have to take the money from that the man and I give him what this man. And I'm not going to be sharp. She will kill him for the fire and move on. Because all the other people want, we won't do that, don't have want the opportunity, you know. I, I know, I know that in the States, some of the time when these women, them, them bring up the man and the man start work, they demand all of the money. I know that yeah. are most of it. Yeah, yeah but so I saw so, 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 so sweet guy that she never said, man, man, I'm not going to be sharp. When that man come there, God, she, she got, she, she, she got, look, she got to catch one of them, this man, if he had done this to her, really close them again, and that really close them. The man close them, so she did a job. The man, she move on. What are people want the opportunity there? What is more, woman? Oh, if my goodness. On, yeah, that's that, that my part that I eat every night. Nice. Bless us all. Prestige, too. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it, 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 I got to end up where I got to start where they close them. <laughs> yes, I don't man. think the man going to send any male clothes just, come give her. I don't think so. Just like when you talk to the shop. I don't think him going to send no male clothes because he's afraid to say. Mm. Female so clothes went by and that man going and that man going wear them. You know, somebody realized that it's not like what this man is. <laughs> we wear the thing. Because uh, I want to see that the woman keep up the shop. Yeah. So if, if you take a small, you, you send them out, you help them up and break them down. Sure. So I think I think gone up back for this for after Christmas this that same man they start friend her up again and girl you see somewhere turn her head this the same liquor with turn her head and chemistry turn her head up put her down and yam down they screw them and we are if all those are full tennis I really dress. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Look up where All right darling, thanks. Me. Thanks for calling. <laughs> Uh, he said, he must have sat really close to him, probably a little one close to him mm. too. <coughs> oh boy. Um, I don't know what sweet hours makes you, makes you lose track of the fact that the shop was being eaten. Let me not say, uh, daddy would say you can't talk part one. Niam dong, right? Mm. I don't know what, I don't know what is sweet hour. I should not say the shop has got down to the ground. I'm not sure what caused that, but she should have been more vigilant, for you. Oh, you mean yeah. what caused that? If a man, I eat out the shop. Oh, you mean what caused that? The man eat out the shop. The man no, eat out the shop. How could she not see yeah. that the shop was being eaten? Yeah. Yeah. Literally. Um, <laughs> I don't know why that part gets me so much, you know, um, the way the man, the caller said it, that <laughs> I'm down the shop. <laughs> Oh boy, today she hasn't said anything. I wouldn't say anything either. Cause I know something for that for you to talk about, really. Unless he comes out and he says, boy, he knows certain things and he wishes to have a discussion about it. That's a whole different thing. I'll, I'll have, then I have to discuss it. But mm. to be the ones who just come out and say, you know, say, boy, I mean, it's kind of hard because it's worse if you have feelings for the man. It's like a half, he just come out and just tell him, say, boy, this did go on, you know. Because after so many years, you know, he's up there doing things and something go down with you as a woman. It, it took a half year to come and tell him that. It really, mm. really got hard. Mm. You know, but the confrontation and for discussion, then I'll have to discuss because he already know and he really want to discuss this thing and make a decision. But as civilized and mature people, no need for anger or aggression. He just need to sit down and talk with her and find out what she's really up to because... I now go say she when the man gone back a fire and she go find one next what this man again or the same what this one. I don't so, think so. So what do you think? She go, she go, she, she gonna be loyal to him because of the money? We all come down from America. Eh? She, will she be loyal we because we of the money? Laugh, but yes, we, your money. <laughs> where you send down from America. Oh where, where she can get to spend between she and the, the man where he taught the shop before. <laughs> Because as where the caller say, he's not going to live at the workplace man. I don't think she's going to go back to that workplace man. He's not going to live at the workplace man. making better. Because my man, the money, I'm going to take care of that. He works with his man oh now. Oh, my goodness. But he's not workplace no more. 
I mean, they're something they're still in the way. Another yeah. man money. Another man money. You know? Uh, 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 um, uh, uh, to put the next man in you know? them. I mean, they're yeah. something there. Well, so, no, that's what you eventually do with the money. Uh, let, let we want to see what Miss Sadie say. Yeah. Miss Sadie had a comment, you know, and Miss mm. Sadie has wisdom and something. So I really want to see what Miss Sadie saying. No man uh, set a business give me, and another man near me told that me know to Miss Sadie, and me no me no so careless and get pregnant. Me I have a man, and no one will ever know that me I tell your prestige, <laughs> and is to twelve o'clock. And uh, in at the 12 o'clock, okay, in the 12 o'clock, yeah, right? No, basically, she has it. So if she's gonna have somebody, nobody not gonna know, and worse of all, him not gonna know, gonna shop with the other man, set and gear. Mm. You have to know himself for true, true, true. So I could have watched Twitter and make him get for near on the shop. We must say, how we must gear, for she lose sight of the facts, the look of business that she have, because she can go on her own. Eh? Because it's so nice when you have your own little business, you know. And your money are flowing, you know. What could I get to this woman head now? If she make this man now, niam, down every board, <laughs> every shelf, every food in the shop. <laughs> Prestige, you should give her a chance, Nova says. Yeah, man, give her a chance. If the baby was there, it should have been hard for the man to give her a chance. Me not lie. Big and serious. But there's no baby. And maybe it was a reason why the baby was lost, you know. Right? Maybe there was a reason why she lost this child. Who knows? Maybe it wasn't meant to be. Maybe it was just a mistake. Maybe yep. she just tried something we never did for try with that worthless boy when they're on the shop for Joe. But she deserves a chance, man. The same way he would deserve a chance. You see the thing with you men, you know, men have a way of being so biased. But me just go and listen to you. Me just go and but listen to you true. and defend this woman. You know, eh? biased man because you know, go with some something mm. and expect that women must just accept them in just in because we are stone. Mm. So as they say, oh, me give you a business and you're gonna foreign to marry and to come back. But are just you go on, build and understand? Clear, clear. You put yourself in that position, you know. Right? You know, see. Hmm. You complain now and say the man friends tell her say he married in America, right? You get me, I say? Mm. The man find out, say she pregnant and she lost the baby. Right? Mm. You see me, I say? Me, if I was in that man's shoes, the one America who married, right? Mm. Yeah, me don't want to fall back myself in this job with this young lady because I know certain time me roll out. You know, see? When me roll out and I tell me, I tell you this straight up. Chances are, you're not sure. Don't tell me about no chances are. Can you <laughs> have a talk and try to back up this lady? No, no chances are. Chances are where and she, and in, and she knows me married up there. She know me married, you know. And me go if a better man for me and she, you know. But she knows me married, still married. You know, see, right? Mm. You know? And she have a look on it, on the level and say, okay. You know, say, Juno got no back man, team wife and stuff like that. But me can't just go and deal with them same way when they come. You know, can make have my little man I deal with him, but when he come, you know, him can get where he still wants. If I dance in, he wants him getting dancing, same way. But while he's up there, I mean, he's a son of the dollars. May I write with him? I'm cool. You know, see, enough, he knows me and Harry still a knock. <laughs> uh, all of them things are going to happen. Mm. So when Juna come down, all Juna have to do is say, well, you may not be able to tell you something. I said to you straight before me leave. You got pregnant, you lost the baby. Me straighten you back out again and put your pants again. You get me? I mm. mean, you see, you don't need still a dancer, you saw a little dirty boy. So, you know <laughs> what I got now? You just go and live your life. Oh. You know, see, just live really your life. Yeah, yeah, friend. Break off with the just, girl just so? Just like that. No, star. Right? I am all right. I'm so cool. So, me, you're a good friend. A son of I, will I will keep the communication. I will keep the communication. I will keep the communication. Right? Listen up. The lady get a shop. She make a man eat out the shop. Listen up, man. To me sell she, she, she got a shop. The man eat out the shop. She got pregnant for the man. She lost the baby. Mm -hmm. The man a foreign again. Put her up on her foot again. And straighten her out. Mm -hmm. By sending down clothes. She'll be here by herself now. She'll what? 
I mean, behave herself. <laughs> she behave herself for what she want and what she can get. That's why the reason why. Why judging the woman when this man get him papers and did not even go through a divorce? I'll know. You are talking about the behalf of the lady, you know. So what right? I say is, so, if not divorce the woman, I'll know, you know. It, it, no. If get him papers, why not leave her alone? Why, why I'm still there? Because. Uh huh. He realized after him getting papers, right? Before him getting papers, the word go out, say this lady pregnant down here. When they leave down here and then girlfriend, right? Yes, so yes. I'm saying. So that, that forgiven, everything, forgiven everything, and everything and I go mess up for me, for me head. Everything I go no mess problem. up for me head. It only go one side for Uno. Right? Because, because, because me get no, pregnant, but it happens, yes. she, she lose it. Mm. Come on, man. Give the woman a fair chance, man. Fair on chance top. in what? Yes, man. Eh? Love still the star. Love the beer. You do all the way you do. Give the woman a chance to redeem herself and to prove herself. Proof. If you hear now that things still are going or whatever, then you can make another decision if you want. Fine, that's so. Mm. But give the woman a fair chance because you go well far for much in years, my youth. But you go, go for betterment. Me you left don't her in a good you position. Go for my youth. You left her star. I leave her in a good position. But the reality is, how can she maintain and sustain herself for much in years without a companion like that? Four years. It's yeah, difficult. Four years. I win him under my youth. What do you mean? Who you does mean? and adds off to win him? Yeah, for yeah? waiting. What you mean? But what I'm saying is, it is difficult for you to expect that, okay, what if she had gone away to marry a man for better men for him and, him, and the children? In way, Would he be out here waiting on her? Sure, why not? Not prestige I want, give her a clap when we get out the road. Why not? Sit down here waiting on yeah. her yeah. and don't touch, don't dance. And even if me, not, even if me dance, Come even on, if me man. dance, even if me dance, him not gonna know some dance. She not gonna know some dance. But he never know that people tell him. You get me? He, people, and you gonna dance and get somebody pregnant. See him here too. Mm -hmm. Cause it's sweet. After after one year gone, or a couple of months, you can't hold it no more. You get tired. Get sweet and sweet. You just let go and pop off. You experienced that before? No. What I'm saying. Be honest, boy. What I'm saying is. Hey, what I'm saying is. You like this at all? Like you see? You yeah. Yeah, can't like grab the like one ear. Yeah. 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 Left here. So you couldn't hold that for for four years. You couldn't hold out for four years. May I ask you? You can't hold on for something for four years, yeah. Yeah? Hold on for well, yeah. a piece of object? Hold on, just hold yeah. on. Hold on for a piece of object? Just hold on, man. Just yeah. hold on for four years, yeah. Hold on for one. What are you talking about, hold on? May I ask you? You couldn't hold out for four years. Hold out or hold on? Just hold out for four years. Wait until it comes for four years. I could hold on for four years. Mm. That's what I'm telling you. Yeah. I could hold on. Hold on and what? Anything you want, you can't hold on my youth. <laughs> <laughs> ah. <laughs> you could wait for him until four, four years time, years. and you know, you not you not touch. It's possible. Yeah. But if, if you're gonna ask me if I would do it, that's a whole different story. Yeah. But it's a possibility, of course. Yeah. It is a possibility. Yeah. Yes, man. It's like how you could have hold out for four years and don't do nothing until me come back. Yeah. That's a possibility too, don't y it? You, I would do that. <laughs> If me and you, you, <laughs> yes, <laughs> yeah. Omg, yeah. yeah. Ratings gone up, ratings yeah. gone up Bra. that road, ratings gone yeah, up Bra. that road. <laughs> <laughs> so in the same way that that yeah. road, mm. for example, yeah. could hold on for four years yeah. till moms come back. Yeah. Why doesn't he think that moms could hold on for four years till he comes back? It's the same thing. Mm. It works both ways. So if I go up and work. And um, do, do whatever for paperwork, mm -hmm. and you out here, and you are going bill. Hey yeah, man, mm -hmm. me can't go and bill. And mm -hmm. when, you, when me come back, if you come back and find out there's something going on, is something going on with you? Mm -hmm. What you want me to do? Just throw you away because you make boy a baby. But you, you, you were talking before. You were talking. Big, big you were talking before. Star. But you was talking before and said give a fair chance. So you no give me a fair chance. Yeah, what me I say is, if it work out with you, give me a fear one. I can give you a fear one, man. Yeah. Yo. That me I try to tell you. Yeah. But if you have a bonfire upon it, I have a bonfire upon you to go about my business. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You, you don't have to be fear. I could swear bunny and stuff and put my right. Pick up yourself, bunny. Dog who suck egg can't stop worthlessness is inevitable in a lot of men today. They are so cunning and hunting. Always looking a prey to devour a woman. Should never use a man for an for a next man. A good fear. <laughs> I hope she learned now. Daddy Ruth, don't you share the same view, say a woman shouldn't do X, forget back at another man. And mm. there's some truth to that, yes. At the same time, despite why she did it, 
But as she get back or not, the reality is after four years, it's difficult for you to tell a woman, say, sit down here so and no move. But me up there so I go and move. But you know if you move, you know, no do nothing. But me go and do something because me have to do something. No, it don't work so. So put it like this then. And a robot in a top. That means that she's just a worthless woman then. No, you can't then say that. Then if you that. have a business place where the man set up a business place, leave it gay. Right? And the same man they come in come get you pregnant. Niam out the whole of the shop. <laughs> You get me, I say? I right? I can't blame me. Nah, he like took the whole of the shop. Get me. Yeah. He took the whole of the shop. You know? for that part there. And all the same man will leave. Figure go set things straight for him and her. And at the same time, him still give her a next chance again by buying clothes. So when you come out now, you're and talk out. and relate and get the thing back together and gel nicely again. No, when me come out, problem. when me come out, me hear say Joe, me say Joe in all the shoes, some of the shoes and no, sneakers and have and, no, so and, and the clothes star. where me buy fishing sell, right? And when me when me sing and talk to her, she go tell me say, you know, say no, in man, stop one party and the girl stop. We're not giving Joe. Not, he never have anything to wear. Me no, just giving the outfit there because you know me say, can you tell me like say Joe buy them and he no buy nothing. No, me not. You get me I say? Not him buy and he no buy nothing and he may wear them. I'm not going to do nothing more with this man. I agree with that, but I need to take something and give you. If I come and see me at them, you get me? I'll win him by. I'm not going to believe. I'm not going to believe. Mansa Musa says, Cleo and Prestige and friend, and the friend them help cause the man to come near me out of the shop. Because mm. <laughs> them are never, because them should have never tell her about man with him wife dancing. See mm. him friend them for true. Mm. Real talk. That makes sense, man, sir. I'm not lying you. Yeah. So them know, say, the man that want with that thing and just come tell the girl at the par head. Mm -hmm. And then him and him friend them just nam down the shop. Mm -hmm. Like chichi mm -hmm. to board. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh my goodness. What else do we have there on the text line? Nova is sending in her message. Prestige. Well, she did does say you should give the girl a chance. Only one thing, <clears throat> well, I got that one already, blaming her for is a pregnancy. But I think they should have an amicable. A three strike on a deal with not listing here? What, and a two strike. Two strike she I get two strike already. No, man, she get, two she strike, get the shot the first time. Right? Get no, the shot. No, and this a, this, this, this a four strike she'll no, get him No, No, man. She got the shot. She got the shot and him, right. him mess up on his shot. She mess up on his shot. So the first the, strike no, was the, where the, she got the, pregnant. The second one is what? How when she get pregnant now? No, the first you one, get me? that man. No. No, man, that's a mistake, my youth. The second one, she get pregnant. If you, any way you want to put it. Uh -huh. If you want to put it that way, that way. That a, a, a three strike Two already. Two strike, man. What? No. I think two like one. Listen she up. She just got pregnant. That was the first yeah. thing. She just got pregnant. Mm -hmm. And the shop now not the same breath. Yeah. So she make two mistakes with one, with one, one, one time. The, the third one strike. strike. The third that strike, man. no. The third strike. This man woke up. Our business again, gear. I send down stuff, give her. But it not, and it not, all right, no. No, you're not all right yet. Yes, man, it's all right. You're not all right yet until the man come down, because the man <laughs> come down now, and you see how the man there, we all want sneakers, when <laughs> by, I see him dress out there, he holds it there. <laughs> you get me, I say, it's going to be a problem. That's going to be three strikes, so we don't know nothing about that yet. No, not that now. Then you should just have a nice little dinner, go out. But she move out with her life, man. She good. But she the man, all right. Them love each other the same way, man. Yo. No love each other. The man having wife up the man. Oh, which wife? I don't like. You know, see, you having wife, in liking wife, apparently in loving wife, cause yes, them see, a touch. And that mess up yeah. the lady brain down you know, here. See, in loving wife. Cause she feel like a boy up here, like up here. She had cut before. She had cut before the man. She even no, said the man yo. married. No, she was Cause she waiting. knew a long time since the man had got go married. So no, she had cut long time. That's why here. Wait. She was waiting. Waiting for what? You cannot wait and and get pregnant. Oh, that work. You tell me. You tell me. If you are weird, you close your legs and don't want them. So you tell me. Oh, you defend Jesus. that. Defend I that. I hear you, sir. I hear you. I hear you. Let's see what 856 um, says there quickly, Cassidy, because we're coming down to the wire. And remember, Miss Sadie, that we can't take WhatsApp calls, all right? Only text messages. You can, however, call um, on a straight call on yeah. the 45. Four five three one triple four. All right, we don't take. We're not, we're not able to take the WhatsApp calls. Alrighty, 
So we're pretty much down to the wire, yeah. Yeah. And you expect that the man is must must, must move on with him life. Move on with him life. And she must move on with her life. And she move on with her life with her man where she have a damn down the shop if she and him still there. <laughs> she move yeah. on. She can't give him clothes to go and wear now. That man send down clothes. If you want to run the business in your ground, you can't just go and wear clothes and run the business and ground. You get me? I no put back, I wear the clothes them, bring them back on here and she run a thrift shop. <laughs> if you want to run a dollar shop. You get me, I say? Simple I as that. Think, yeah. I think that they should sit down and discuss, look at what went wrong, see how mm. he can deal with it. If he can deal with it, then he make a decision. Mm. But give her a chance to hear what she have to say, hear what she was feeling, hear from him too, and this disclose certain things. Open up now, if it comes to the test, we need to open up. Yeah? And make some pledges. Make some fresh start. And if it is that, she know within herself, say, boy, <clears throat> I really love that man, you know, when he got back and fired me, I go back in the same zone again, you know. Mm. Make a decision for us, go your way, make him go back and foreign to whomever, and live him life, and you go wherever to whomever, and live your life. But I think they should both come to a point where they have a discussion first, providing that they both want to have the discussion, because the man might not want to have it, as well as she might not want to have it either. But, but if both of them, based on their feelings, mm -hmm. Then if you sit down and discuss what they're going to do way yeah. forward now, mm -hmm. but for him, don't give up on her so easily. Mm -hmm. And for her, don't let go your man so easily mm -hmm. either. Suppose let the man, go the work this boy. Suppose the, man, suppose the man come down from foreign and say, listen up, Marcia, I am happily married. Mercy God. You know? And mm. it's not going to work out between us. Let's just go about our business. Simple as that. The man ain't no chance, nothing. Give her a chance. Give her a chance. Give her a chance. Yeah. Real talk. Give her a chance. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Give her a chance. If you love her, give her a yeah. chance. Mm. Love is forgiving. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Anyways, guys, we have come to the end of another show. It is mm. now 12 oh one and we just want to say thanks to all the people who tuned in tonight. Those who text um, us on the WhatsApp, those who sent regular SMS. We want to thank you, those who call internationally and locally, those who just listened in and didn't bother to call. Um, thank you guys so much for keeping the show alive. Um, um, we want to say shout out to Vivian.